three, two, one. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Unlimited Sports, man. We're on episode four, man. Y'all been showing the series some love, man. I appreciate y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Joined by the co-host, you feel me, in a new environment today. Got the boy Noah. That's good, Joe. Got the kid C-Dot, a.k.a. Christian, in this joint, man. And we're going to not waste any more time. I'm getting right into this joint, man. So, last week, we gave our predictions on Colorado versus Oregon. I ain't going to lie. I was the only one that was wrong. I was trying to ride with Coach Prime, bro. But they got absolutely destroyed over the weekend, man. They got beat... What was it 45? Was it 45? 45 to like what? Six. 45 to 6, bro. Yeah. Or was 42 to 6? It was one Something of them. Like I think that. it was 45 to 6, 42 to 6. But it was very bad for business, bro. I, I, I turned on that game having high anticipations. They didn't score until the fourth quarter. Oregon was doing whatever they want. And once I heard um, the coaches for, from Oregon's pregame speech, I knew it was over. He was talking about how they play for clicks, we play to win. Yeah, he was talking crazy. He was talking crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were going to hype up Colorado, but they came out there and. Did them crazy, bad. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. What are y'all thoughts on that game overall though, bro? I was a little down bad because I put some money on Colorado with Ooh. that upset. But uh, honestly, bro, like I thought I thought it'd be a close game. I didn't think it'd be a blowout. Yeah, I thought but it'd be high scoring so. Right when I started watching it, I could tell they weren't really on the same level. Like they didn't really yeah. look competitive to me. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm I'm worried for them next week. Against USC, oh, no, it might be bad, yeah, bro. Because yeah, no, because Bo Bo Nix was cool, but he's not Caleb Williams, like yeah, Bo Nix looked like a top a first round pick out there. Like he looked, he did. He looked weak though. He looked weak. Yeah, he looked really good. Yeah, they looked really good. So I don't know, but I knew their defense was weak. Like the only way I knew it could be competitive is if their offense could get going. But their offense just stalled pretty much the whole game. So it was really a wrap after the first quarter. I'm gonna be honest. Like after the first quarter, I was like, the game is over. They can't. Yeah. They can't do anything to them. Yeah, I thought it would be a closer game. I ain't gonna lie, but at the end of the day. They're on fraud watch now. They are on fraud watch. I mean, on Coach Prime's defense, though, I don't think anybody expected him to get this far. You feel me? I, I mean, he got he got good players, but, like, he doesn't have a complete defense. He doesn't have an O-line. To pre- Shador's taking the most sacks. No, they don't have football. an O-line. I think, yeah, I think he took 26 sacks. Not in, like, last game. I'm saying, like, overall. Oh, like, overall, yeah. yeah. He's probably, bro. He, their it's O-line bad. is terrible. They needed a, a but, way better O-line. Oregon definitely, I think they shock. I'm not gonna say they shock people, but like, I think they open people's eyes how good they are. Yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, the Irving, I forgot his first name, Irving, the running back for Oregon's really nice, bro. He was very much oh, doing whatever yeah. he wanted. Yeah, like, it was it was getting quarters. really crazy out there. They looked like a whole different like level. Like they didn't even yeah. look like they were a competitive team. It was like them. the only one on Colorado's defense that showed up with Shiloh Sanders. Yeah, their, their defense was weak, and I was saying that when we talked about uh, the predictions for the game. Like, I just didn't think their defense could handle that type of offense because yeah. they've only faced like TCU is a good team but even TCU was putting up points and TCU lost a lot of their best players so once I saw that I was like okay I saw the next game you know they blew out Wisconsin they struggled against Colorado State so I'm thinking about it and I'm looking what the quarterback in Colorado State did and, yeah. and if he could do that then Oregon I knew they were going to go crazy but I really thought that Colorado was at least going to like keep up somewhat but it got out of hand. It got out of hand really quick, bro. Sad to see though. Any other thoughts? See that? No, 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 no. But, yeah, Kayla. But yeah, you talked about how they made Bo Nix look really good. Kayla yeah. Williams really going there, boy. He had five touchdowns last week. Ooh. He might go in there and go crazy. I'm not. USC lie. might drop six. He, he, he actually might have his Heisman game. He might. But at the same time, Colorado, I think that, like I said, I think they've been exposed. I don't think people really value a win over them, especially like USC over them. I don't think that's that's going to mean as much. Mm. No, I, got I think Oregon's did, but USC, now that we know, they're not it? really. Yeah, because they were both undefeated at the time. Yeah, but after we what Oregon did to them, be, now it's like, okay. Yeah, we know that they're not at that level yet. They still need some pieces. Yeah. But next week, honestly, I pray for them, boys. It's going to get really rough. Good try, man. Is it in? I think it's in Colorado, too. <sighs> They're gonna get, they might get embarrassed at home, bro. Oh, man. Boulder's not going to be happy. Colorado's been having bad weeks, bro. Yeah. They got blown out. They got blown out, obviously, by Oregon. Then we're going to transition to the NFL. What happened? What happened Sunday, bro, <laughs> was an absolute travesty, dog. How, the Miami Dolphins destroyed. It was Alvin Oak destroyed the Destroyed isn't even. Obliterated. Yeah. Absolutely. Bent them made, over. Oh, God. Like, made them submit. It was just. It was, bad, it was the bro. worst game of a How do you get beat by. How do you let a team put 70 points on you, bro? 70 to 20 was the final score, man. 50 point blowout. Russell Wilson. And I think people are trying to realize it's not really Russell Wilson's no, fault. It's not. That the defense. The defensive coordinator for. Uh, 
Denver, I don't know what he was cooking, but I think everybody cooking shit. I think I think everybody thought they were gonna be a decent defense coming in this season, and like they haven't performed at all, like no, not even close not to their even, standards, bro. Yeah. Like you can't even blame Russ at this point. I feel like it's the coaching at the end of the day, but you gotta give Miami their credit though. Like two, oh, yeah, they were two. doing they were doing no look passes, bro. Oh yeah, that Ooh. little. Magic Johnson shit that he did, that little shovel pass, no look, that was crazy. When they were doing that, I was like, it's getting disrespectful. Like, it was getting bad. They were playing around, bro. Yeah, they were yeah. doing whatever they wanted to them. Like, yeah. And then they had the big backup running back go for 200 yards. That was insane. But I think he's actually going to be really good, though. A chain. Yeah, yeah. Mostert had four TDs. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. it was rough out there. They weren't even trying at some point. Like, putting they were, up bad in numbers. Yeah, they were doing whatever they wanted. They gave up. Once it was like... Once they had, like, 21, they knew they couldn't keep up with them, and they gave up. Do y'all think that Mike McDaniel should have had him kick the field goal, though? Yes. A hundred percent. I would have, yeah. I think that should have been, like, a – I would have done just, like, all right, y'all need to get your team better. Right. Because if if they win the Super Bowl this year and you look back on the season and you say, oh, they had the record for the most amount of points in a game, like – Super Bowl? No, they're definitely contender. I'm saying, like, if they were to go and win the Super Bowl and they ended up being, like – one of the best offenses we've we've ever seen. Yeah. Then that would be like a a noteworthy thing for them to achieve. To I make. do I do somewhat respect him not kicking the field goal. I don't. So it's kind of like mercy. I respect it. Yeah. They're it's, it's they're professionals mercy. though. Like they're NFL. Yeah, players. it's it's a respect thing though. Cause like if you're if you're already spanking somebody by fifty and there's like not that much time left, why? Yeah, that's they that's already just dropped seventy. But if you got ninety eight points in a basketball game, yeah, you're you're, you're taking two. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like you but, want the record. Yeah, I I would want the record. But, right. The Denver Broncos. They deserve the record. Like they, I I can't even put into words like how bad that was for Denver. Like, Denver shouldn't even show their faces. Like no. they're like I think Stephen A. said they're like a national embarrassment, bro. Yeah. Like, they sh- they really should not. They shouldn't be able to fly private. They should have to fly commercial for like the next few <laughs> games, bro. They shouldn't get any type of special treatment. They should be out there running in the hot weather. No, they need to explain they need to themselves. Do something. I want to hear everybody on the defense like. In yeah. a post game interview, even Patrick, bro. Yeah, Patrick got cooked by certain. My fucking like Cho. What, what is his name now? Chosen Andy. Oh, Robbie. Chosen, yeah, Robert 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 whatever his name. My boy Mike is. White threw a dot. He did throw a, a dot. A deep, bro. I bet y'all he wish y'all had uh, Mike White. <laughs> he should be on the team right now, bro. Oh man, that's crazy to say when you're begging for Mike White for a like, backup. That's quarterback. when it, that's when it gets <laughs> for really a bad. backup quarterback, bro. bro. And that that leads into our next topic, actually, perfectly, dog. Zach Wilson, listen. As a Jets fan, bro, like like I said in my reaction, go check out the reaction. But I didn't really actually I actually didn't really watch the game in its entirety. I really because I was on red zone and I was at my I was at the crib, so like I was just I, I was enjoying my flat screen benefits. I call it. I was just watching red zone and I and like I said, I didn't see any. You know what's bad? You you know you know how you know Zach Wilson and Mac Jones aren't cooking shit when you when they don't have a highlight on red zone for like. Forty minutes, bro. That's crazy. Like I didn't see. Any, I was like, "What's going on in the game, bro?" I was like, "Damn, did they, are they not they get postponed? What's going on, bro?" Check the score. It's like thirteen to three. Zach Wilson had forty-seven through three quarters of professional football. Zach Wilson had forty-seven yards passing, bro. Y'all understand how crazy that. that is? I'm not gonna lie. Zach Wilson might be the biggest bust ever. He's up there with Jamarcus Russell. Re- the stats are close. Yeah, their stats are really close. Like, the stats are close. Yeah. I think Jamarcus even has less interceptions than him. I think so. Like, I think bro. Zach Wilson really might be the worst professional I've ever watched. Zach. Like, honestly. Through three quarters of football, gang, you have 47 yards? How many times did he throw the ball? I go. I don't know the exact percentage, but it was definitely it was over like 10, 15 times. If you throw the ball fifteen times and at forty seven, but like it's rough for you. He didn't like complete. I think he had like seven completions. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's I'll, just I'll out there. <laughs> he's just out there snapping the ball and praying. It was bad, bro. Ended the game. He had two drives. He had two different possessions to get for a game winning uh, touchdown. You know what he did on the first one? Just missed read after read. You feel me? Then he got sacked in his own end zone. Second possession. Same thing. Garrett Wilson was available on the drag route several times. Missed him. Just he's, he's just terrible, bro. You know what's bad when Joe Namath comes out, a legend, the be- probably the best Jets quarterback we've ever had, comes out and says that you need to be gone, bro. In the in the third game of the season, after the third game of the season, they had like, Michael Carter over there turned up on the sidelines, <laughs> pressing Zach out. It Garrett was, Garrett too. Yeah, it was getting like, bad out there, man. The Jets are actually like in shambles, bro. You know who to call. I'm not, I don't want to call. He knows who he needs he to call. Who. That boy Carson. No, bro. He's been calling. Carson's not going to be that much better, though. No. Carson would be 
considerably better. I saw what Carson did with y'all's Redskins, bro. It wasn't he wasn't cooking. But anything, bro. Zach Wilson is the what worst quarterback. What the fuck is Zach Wilson? Yeah, Zach Wilson is probably the worst quarterback I've ever even watched play football. We just signed Trevor Simeon, bro. I mean. I'll take I, Trevor I think, Simeon. And the thing is, Robert, I, I respect Robert for supporting his guy, but like saying yeah. he has absolute confidence in Zach he after doesn't. what he has done for three seasons, bro. Are you kidding me? He sounded like he was off a of perk when he said that. Like he couldn't even get through his sentence. Yeah, like, bro. You like, knew he was just lying. I don't even know why he said like, that. Like you know it's bad because as soon as Aaron Rodgers went down, I've posted this face several times, but the facial expression yeah. that Robert Sala made, it looked like he saw a ghost, bro. <laughs> like he looked like he was depressed. Like it was just bad. He was just like like, are you serious? And I understand in the moment as well, but he also knew Zach. He, That's he knew how he, he looks was every the time he opens his mouth on a post game. He just yeah. looks like he's seeing ghosts. And but Zach yeah. Wilson's having a seeing ghost game every time he steps on the field. Zach Wilson, I, I've tried giving you the benefit of the doubt game, be but it's your time to he go. He might be. He might be. I don't even know if he's. You say he might be blind. Well, he might be. There's he, something he wrong. Might have like partial, partial he, he's partial so blind bad. Like, it's, I can't even watch the Jets play anymore. Yeah, like... And y'all still have primetime games this season. Like, <laughs> like we, we have got, to keep watching City. y'all. Yeah, City. we have to keep watching Zach Wilson play football. Spain. We're not oh. going to get Spain. Oh, it might... Our defense... I think, I think what's going to happen, the defense is going to... The defense, defense is going to tee up. No, no, I, the defense is going to tee up because we haven't played up to our standards. We played good week one, but like these last two weeks haven't been good. I think the defense but is going to come together. But that could have been just because Aaron Rodgers. Because he went down and everybody got all hyped up and played But people want to blame that game on Aaron... Or not Aaron Rodgers. Josh Allen. Josh Allen was making some terrible throws. Four picks. Or three but picks, three throwing three picks. picks to the same dude. And, like, our D-line was looking good. I mean, he was giving the ball to him. Literally. Like, he was literally giving them the ball. But that... Why does that happen? The D-line. The pressure. No. Some, were, some of them he was trying to be super. He was literally but, stepping in the throws, launching it just straight to... At the end of the day, he was just feeding him stats. I don't care. The defense came to play. Uh, and I really think, I think when we have a quarterback like. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's not get, delusion. It might it's get not, rough for you. It's not I'm delusion. Not I'm saying, all I'm saying is, Zach Wilson is obviously like, he's a handicap. Like, we're, we, we should he's, be a. He's should, like an anchor. We should be a playoff team right now. He's holding he's us holding back to like seven wins. So, yeah. every great team has like a unit that steps up. The 2000 Ravens didn't have a good offense. You know what did good? I'm not comparing us to the Ravens by any means. I did in the beginning of the season, but after what I've seen, uh, we're not there yet. Yeah. But their defense carried them to wins. But Zach Wilson is, like, terrible. Like, you can't even, like, score points with him. So the only way you guys can win is if you get – is relying think, on defensive, yeah, defensive, uh, defensive, scores. defensive scores. But it's also – it's not entirely on Zach Wilson as well because – no, no, listen. The offensive line – The offensive line is The terrible. offensive line is actually really bad. It is terrible. I think he's taking – I don't know if he's taking the most sacks in the NFL so far, but he's definitely up there. He's, taking, no, he, he took, he's been taking a lot of sacks. That's facts. Number two, the play calling – Can't that, get the run game going. The play calling for Nathaniel Hackett's absolutely terrible. I understand, like, you think you're having Aaron Rodgers coming in, bro, but once you see that he's gone – it's been two weeks now, buddy. Tee up. Change your play calling. Change the playbook. Ask Zach Wilson, yo, what are some plays you actually like to do? You feel me? That actually are, can help us actually I'll have score to points. establish the run game. You're, that that was my last Yeah, point. that's what I'm saying. Like, you guys can't be successful with Zach Wilson dropping back and throwing the ball 30, 40 times yeah, like, without establishing a run game. We actually first. give the ball to Brees Hall and let him cook. Y'all and Alvin Cook as well. And Michael Carter as well. What I think y'all need to do is once you've established the run game a little bit, you start running more like – like design runs or design rollouts and stuff like that, yeah, so we can yeah. at least use some of his skill set because he does have like. He has a cannon. Yeah, he has a cannon, but he's also athletic. Like he can do things. It's just he makes terrible mistakes. Like I, I, it's so bad to watch. Like he can't read the field at all. He has no idea what he's looking at. As soon as he snaps the ball, he just he panics. Just, what he does is eyes in on Garrett Wilson. If Garrett's not open, he's like, "Oh shit! It's either I got to yeah. get a sack or I'm just gonna throw a pick." That, exactly. That's literally what he does. And it's I don't know. So they have to put him in. I, I'm like I can't even say that to put him in better positions because I don't think it matters. But if they're going to do anything, establish the run game, get him in some design runs, maybe do some rollouts. Let him like I don't know, like set up something so that you have people just crossing the field and he can just hit the easy guy. I don't know, like throw some checkdowns, <laughs> throw some screens, bro, do bro, something. Bro even know. I don't even know. Like he <laughs> literally can't play football. Like yeah. he can't play in the watching NFL. that watching that game like I'm literally specific like I said I really started watching it like last eight minutes once we scored watching that game watching him play on the last two possessions like bro does this has this dude not been playing football his entire life I, he looks he still looks the same as when he came into I'm the like bro I've seen zero improvement yeah it's just, zero improvement what is he doing in practice that's what I'm saying he like, can't be doing anything in practice <laughs> like he can't he must be sitting there like drinking Gatorade bro like there's uh, no way he's out there practicing like Garrett what you do every weekend bro like that's what he be thinking. 
Yeah, he's like, hey, Garrett, uh, just run and I'll see if I can hit you, <laughs> maybe. It's not even that because he was. I'm telling you, he was wide open on two drag routes in particular yeah, in he, the last couple. Of the last he's positions. afraid. He's seeing ghosts every game. Any thoughts, Christian? No. <laughs> but yeah, bro, Sunday hurt so bad, man. We haven't beat the Patriots in 15 games. We haven't beat the Patriots since I was 12 years old. Bro. I would not be letting that yeah, slide. I cannot if let I was slide, the Patriots, or if I was the Jets, man. Last year we got beat off a pump return for a touchdown because that was crazy. It was three. It was three to three because Zach Wilson only can put up three points in a professional football game. That was a shitter. Game. That was like a horrible game. Bro. And then they decided to get a pump return for a touchdown, but it's been hurting. I've been hurting so bad, especially after that game was over. I was down terrible, bro. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, with all the turmoil, man, Kansas City gonna be tough. No, I'm not no. saying we're gonna win. Kansas City gonna be rough. But it's I think we're gonna, gonna hold them under twenty points. If the, no. If, 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 no. The, if the Detroit Lions defense can hold them to 20 Oh, points, my God. We didn't I, have Travis Kelsey. If y'all can't get your offense going yeah, in some way, it's going to get out of hand. We didn't bro. have Travis Kelsey. The thing is, we can't get blown out if they only score like 20 points. I don't think you'll be able to stop them. I think we will. I don't know, man. Our D-line's on point. They don't really have a running game, with all due respect to Pacheco. Uh, the throwing, the angle, the throwing obviously is a big concern, but we got DJ Reed needs to learn how to cover. DJ Reed's been lacking these last few weeks, but we still got Sauce. Sauce has still been Sauce. Uh, we still got my boy Jerome Whitehead. We got Quincy Williams. We got the D-line. I think we're going to get some pressure on Pat Mahomes. Honestly, bro, the only problem with that is if y'all can't get going on offense and your defense is on the field the whole game, and they're going to be they're going to be running, y'all, straight up. Cause I'm, 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 I'm starting I'm to be realistic. I, I'm, I'm not even going to say that Jets going to win every game, no I just can't I'm, even see I'm saying, I don't think we're getting blown out. That's all I'm saying. We're not going to get blown out this game. I think the defense is going to step up. They know what they're They know what they're coming up against. Against Buffalo, they knew what they're coming against. They only held Buffalo to 16 points. Uh, Pat, they, they know Patrick Mahomes is coming. They held Josh bro. Allen to 16 points. They know Patrick Mahomes is coming, bro. They're going, like, come on, be for real. He's coming off of what do you, what do you want a to say? domination. I don't know. I just I don't they're see playing it. They're the Bears. I know, but I think they're going to do y'all like the Bears. I'm going to be honest. Y'all might lose by 20. What? Y'all might lose by 20 plus. 34 to nothing at halftime? Not like that. Not like that. That's crazy. I'm saying y'all might lose by 20. It's going to be like 17-0 at halftime. Y'all might lose like. Hey, y'all are scoring more than 20 points the entire game, I promise you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be like 17 to 3 at halftime. It, it might. Not, it might it, they might be up two scores at half. Might be 14 zip. And if it's 14 zip at half, the game's going to get out of hand. <laughs> no, it's not, bro. Yeah, they're not scoring more than 20 points. If y'all even score so a field scoring, goal, they're so, going to go crazy. So when I'm scoring three touchdowns? My score three touchdowns be going to miss a kick. All right. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a wrap, bro. All right, you're not lie. scoring more than 20 points. Promise. If they, if they can't get their defense off the field and their defense is on the field for most of the game, they're going to get tired. And the homes in them and Andy Reid, they're going to be running y'all out the building. Listen, I think they just need to focus on changing up the game plan. Focus on establishing the run game. Focus on getting some plays that Zach Wilson actually knows how to do. If, he, if, if there are, I'm just saying, if, there, if, there, if, are if there are any plays, plays, there might not be any plays. Defense needs to be like, look, this this dude we got at quarterback is absolute horseshit. <laughs> we need a we need to step up because that's only that's what happened last year. We went seven to four with Zach Wilson. We can do it again. I'm not saying I'm don't say don't think I'm saying we're going to beat Kansas City. I'm just saying I think our defense is going to step up and give us a shot at beating Kansas City. I mean, it's a good prayer, man, but. I just I can't see it because like Zach Wilson is so bad that if he's giving the game away, and Kansas City's offense is staying on the field, they're going to put up. Okay, so Zach Wilson is a disease, bro. He's a, he, he's, he's a like, virus. Yeah, he's a virus. He's an like, infection. Every, as soon as he steps on the field, everybody on the offense gets sick. They're like, oh hell. Y'all no. might be better off running Wildcat with fucking Brees Hall every single play. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all might actually have more yards that way. Brees Hall and Garrett take turns. Yeah, just <laughs> add, everybody on the, all the skill players just rotate in. Y'all might have more success that way because he genuinely can't play football. What did Jets fans do to deserve this man? Have hope. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. Any final thoughts on that? This is a Kansas City fan over here, man. What do you think going to happen on Sunday? I don't know what's going to happen on Sunday. Bad news for y'all, man. It's going to be a slaughterhouse. Yeah. A slaughterhouse? Bro, what's the, what's the score going to be? Bro, it's going to be like maybe 35 6. That's insane. Uh, We're not that bad, bro. Y'all are pretty bad. Are all, <laughs> y'all are yeah, pretty don't, bad. Our, don't say y'all. It's our quarterback. All right, so don't be, say y'all. Because your quarterback, because quarterback is bad. Because that makes the rest yeah. of your team bad. Yeah, you're, I don't think your team can – your defense can't do it all, especially not against Kansas City. 
And Mahomes, was like, you're, they're not going to be able to contain him for I ain't long. Saying, I ain't saying we're going to win. And when we do predictions, I ain't even going to say who I think going to win that game. I'm just going to be like, look, I plead the fifth. <laughs> you know I, mean? I say it nothing. But at the same time, bro, Zach Wilson has just, he's caused every Jets fan so much pain, bro. You, you, if you're that bad to the point, a legend quarterback for the franchise who should be supporting you has come out and is saying you need to be gone. Not even that's actually he doesn't like, even want him on the team. Yeah, he doesn't want that man in his sight. He, they're gonna lock him out the building. Like that's that's actually like I I know he's had to hear about that. Yeah, like that has to hurt your confidence even more, bro. Yeah. So he's he, really about to play better. He oh, might come yeah. out there just. He might go out there. <laughs> he might fake an injury. I think it's gonna come down to that. He might start grabbing that as. At his knee. Out, That'd like, be crazy. People would be excited that he got hurt. Oh, they would. Yeah. If you panned in on the faces, remember when he got hurt last year? They didn't look very sad. People he, were so psyched Mike White came in the game, yeah. bro. People, they're wearing Mike White shirts, Which bro. is crazy. Zach, uh, I feel bad, but at the same time, you kind of brought this on yourself, bro. You haven't gotten better over three years, man. That's insane. We, well, need, we, we, we need Zach Wilson's practice film. We need, oh, God, we need, I need, we need to dissect nah, the practice. He's probably a practice hero. He's probably a practice hero. There's no way. He probably is. But in that's, practice, you would the, still the, have to, like... That's the type of dude he would be. something. He like, probably, he's probably making play action, deep ass throws to Garrett. Everybody's like, okay, come to game day. I don't believe <laughs> okay, it, man. Okay, then they don't, this week might be the week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they would say that for like the past three years. I'm not going to lie. They looked like they wanted to cry when they realized Zach Wilson was going to take over for the year. Like it yeah. looked like it looked rough. They knew that it was. Everybody rough. was giving that man a pep talk, bro. Yeah, during Lazar's like, look, man, Garrett Wilson. Everybody was coming over to that man like, hey, man, you ain't the same dude. You feel me? Tee up. And people need to stop with the oh, Aaron Rodgers is going to be over there coaching him up. Aaron Rodgers will not be within twenty feet of Zach be, Wilson. Aaron Rodgers might be off the shrooms as we speak. Yeah, he right won't now. be even standing next to Zach Wilson. Like, yeah, he'll be like he's a, definitely in a hotel room or someplace right now, just chilling. Yeah, he'll be like a Watching keep going, guys. kid. He's probably why he already grew a mustache though in the span of like two oh, weeks. Yeah, he's, he's probably did. he's probably been watching the games like oh my goodness. Yeah, he's like I thought this kid had potential, bro. <laughs> he's taking back everything he said for the season. Zach Wilson was probably out there like with a towel over his head the whole practice during training camp. Like he probably wasn't doing shit. No, he, he was he was taking reps. Like if you watch Hard Knocks, I watched a little bit of it. Like he I he, didn't he, watch that he wasn't looking bad. That's I what I was saying. Was happen, That's yeah. what I was saying. I was remember when we like initially when he went down. I was like Zach, it was a bad take in retrospect. But I was thinking, I was like, bro, preseason, he didn't play bad. Practice, we knew what it was going to be. I, no matter what I see from Zach that looks good, when it comes to the real game time, I know what it'll look like. And it's so egregious. I mean, I La- didn't think it was going to be this bad. I knew it was going to be bad. Honestly, after last year, seeing how bad he was, this year, the fact that he's the replacement for Aaron Rodgers, who y'all put all of your chips in the pot for, that to me was like, oh, Zach Wilson's about to come out here and shit the bed every game. <laughs> I, I could see. I thought y'all would go out here and get Matt Ryan. Genuinely. I thought y'all would He doesn't want to come back. We, already, we tried. Y'all need to call Carson Wentz. He's calling. I don't want Carson Wentz. You, you should be praying for Carson Wentz. Get right Colin Kaepernick. I mean, I, at this point, you guys might be right. I'll take Carson Wentz. I would say. take Carson Wentz. I'll take a little girl exactly over Carson Wentz. Bro. I'll take one of y'all over Carson Wentz. Hey, hey, Car- Christian, go put on a jersey game. Go, go, get, go out there, bro. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, take, gonna get me I'm taking, I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking <laughs> Dalvin Cook <laughs> in Wildcat over Zach Wilson right now. I think I think Dalvin Cook would put up more than forty yards passing in three quarters. Uh, yeah. Off of jump passes over the line, like. It is what it is, man. Um, Y'all should just throw screens the whole game. Do some flea flickers. Hey, get man. creative. Do some reverses. I don't know. You no, know it's crazy though. You talking real crazy for a oh, commander fan, bro. We know it's coming, man. Bro, what I, I thought y'all were winning. I remember you said you were gonna beat the Bills, bro. <sighs> Did say that, bro. Our O line is so bad. Like if y'all watch the game, bro. Sam Howell is bad. Sam four, Howell. Four picks. After the first two picks, I was like, they should take him out. I thought you said he was the truth, though. Oh, I thought he was. <laughs> I was sorely mistaken. But I'm not gonna shit on him. This was only his fourth game. Like. It was egregious. It was horrible. But we saw Josh Allen throw three picks. Yeah, blame it. It's not the end. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. (laughs) Antonio Gibson, if you're listening to this, there is no way you should have a job in the NFL right now, currently today. Ron Rivera should be fired at the end of the season for not having cut Antonio Gibson yet. He fumbles away games 
so much. Like, I don't even know how he has a job. I don't know why he was splitting reps 50-50 with Robinson. I, I have really no know. idea. Robinson was playing well with the first couple right. of games, and then they just started giving this man reps for no reason. Like, I, was why, like, I was like, why is this man in the game right yeah, now? Yeah, like, why are we giving Gibson the ball? Like, Gibson is a disaster waiting to happen. And Fumble. our O-line is terrible, bro. Chase Young, the time is ticking. I'm not going to lie. You're not doing it for me, man. You'll probably be out of here. He'll be out of here next year, I'm going to be honest. The other three D linemen are better. Um, we need to get an O-line really badly. Our O-line was terrible. Every time Sam Howell dropped back, he looked like he was going to have to run for his Didn't life. Did you say something about the Bills D-line, bro? No. No, I, I swore he said something about the Bills D-line. No, I said about, something about our D-line. I thought he said the Bills D line was. No, no, no. The Bills, the Bills D line is cool. Like the Bills have a good defense. Like they're a good team. That's why I'm not that upset that we lost to them. I mean, they because just it's beat like the Bills. They did. Y'all got beat 37. I mean, three. Josh Allen threw three picks. He had four turns. He was playing that's, around. That's because of our defense. He was playing around with us. Yeah. Stop. And it went to not. overtime. Why are you gonna play around the first game of the season on prime time? Because he, he knew he was like, there's no Aaron Josh Allen. Might as well just I don't know. Josh Allen, he, he, he just be running out there to me. Josh Allen did kind of the same thing as y'all, though. He had one pick. I was like, what is he? It was like the same thing. Like, yeah, that's like, what, what I'm saying. Like, the thing is, bro, during the game, like, if y'all watch the game, care, like, really there was still like so there was still so many times when we could have, like, started coming back. Like, we would drive the whole field and then, no, 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 no. Like, we were making drives <laughs> and then back. Sam Howell would just, like, coming back. <laughs> not coming back. I'm saying it wasn't out of hand for a while. It wasn't. Did y'all watch the game? I mean, I watched. I, I kind of like we would drive the whole the whole field, and then he would throw a pick. Oh, like it's not like we couldn't move the ball. Like it just we threw. Like he kept making so many mistakes, and then they were just. I, they were like, I guess we'll score. Like it was like six to nothing for a brick, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I was we like, could do something. Six. That's what I'm saying. We were just going down the field and selling. Like then it, yeah, then the picks started just. Yeah, yeah, bro. And after the third one, I was like, please put Jacoby Brissett in. Please. I need him in the game right <laughs> now. Jacoby, Jacoby going to do something, though. No, I mean, Jacoby ain't that bad. No, Jacoby, bad. Jacoby's cool a good backup Browns. to me. I'm taking like, him over Zach Wilson. He, he was cool on the Browns. 100%. Easy. Easily. Easily. Not yes. even not even close. He might take us to a Super Bowl for real. For real. Jacoby Brissett would be your savior. <laughs> Take out to a Super Bowl is crazy. <laughs> Low key, we might need to call up Washington real quick, bro. They're not about to give y'all him. But hey, we'll give you a third round pick. Y'all need to take Antonio what? Gibson, bro. Nah, y'all can keep Antonio Please. Gibson. He needs to be <laughs> cut, bro. I don't know he's why he's still on the field, bro. He's so yeah. bad. I had him on my fantasy. He fumbles so I much, bro. I don't know why you got it. I told you too. I was like, why'd you get Antonio yeah, he's Gibson? A, he's bro. a fumble machine, bro. He's just a turnover waiting to happen. See, I've had experiences with these, like David Montgomery as well. I was like, bro, David Montgomery's a cycle. He'll play good for like one game. You'll get excited. He got hurt. He's going to get injured or he's going to start fumbling. Yeah. Same case with Antonio Gibson, bro. Yeah, it kind of is. Except Antonio Gibson, like, he can't. Yeah, Montgomery's better than Gibson. I oh, lie. yeah, he definitely not close, is. I would but, rather have Montgomery. Yeah, I don't know what y'all were doing because, like, Robinson, in my opinion, should be, like, the clear RB1. That's getting, what I'm Getting, like, saying. at least 80, like right. 70 to 80% of the reps, bro. Exactly, bro. Like, Robinson is going to be – at least y'all got Robinson. Robinson's yeah, going to be nice. Robinson. He's going to be like, really nice. Like, we have good pieces, bro. It's just – You our, do. Our, because you do. our O-line is so bad and Sam Howell is such an un- inexperienced quarterback, like, right now he's – he struggled last game because he played a real, like a, a really good team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least he did that against the, the uh, Bills. If he did that against the Broncos and we got blown out by the Broncos, then I'd be like, the season's over. But like, I mean, we lost to a really good team. They'll probably be a contender. We so, didn't try telling y'all though. We tried telling you. I mean, your take last week was. I had laughable. some hope, man. Like, what what can I say? You. I, I understand. I'm a. Jets you know fan. how it is. I'm a Jets fan. I've I'm been through Jets so many fan. years of pain. He doesn't understand. This man has been on the bandwagon. He, does, he wouldn't years. understand. Not a bandwagon. Uh, Chiefs and Warriors fan, I don't know, man. Hey, but, uh, I've, I've been a Washington fan since the moment I took a breath, man. I've been so. a Jets fan, same, bro. I've been a Jets fan since day one, bro. I don't know why. If I could go back and tell myself, don't pick them. I'm not gonna say I would do it or not, because like I feel like we're gonna we're There's gonna get to no the no way you would have picked them. We're getting to the promise land no one year. It's gonna happen eventually. It's going to I it's mean, gonna happen before I die. If, if at least once. If Rogers plays with y'all, you have a chance. But if he just comes back next year, he's like, I'm out of here. It's like what George was saying. He was like, you're going on your deathbed, and you're not gonna ever win a chance. I mean, that's that's a possibility. It is a possibility. That's like 80 years, bro. 70, 80 years. I'm gonna live a long life. I'm gonna be around till 21. You're gonna be watching I mean, football at 80, 85. The huh? Jets might just. Dissolve, man. They might just go into straight it's poverty. Lit- I don't think y'all understand how literally this simple is. Like, you literally just need like a couple of line pieces and get rid of Zach Wilson, and we're there. Like, it's literally that simple. And we need to start coaching like our pieces how they need to be coached. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. If I was the Jets, what I would do this year is lose every single game, get the first overall pick, and just get Caleb Williams. You do that on purpose? Nah. 
Can't do that. How would they know? They have Zach us. Wilson at quarterback. Just don't take <laughs> Zach Wilson out. They'll probably just keep losing, bro. No, yeah, just, Zach, just be like, yeah, Zach. Yeah, Zach. Yeah, let's run Hail Mary, Zach. It's like second and second and five. It's the second quarter. Zach, you said, Zach just throw it deep, please. <laughs> Why don't you roll out while you're doing it too? Zach was probably the worst. Season yeah, they'll, they'll, of be all in, time. they'll be in, the, in his headset like Zach. Roll out left and throw it across your body. It'll be wide open. Sixty-seven picks. In Zach, a play, play action Hail Mary, Zach. <laughs> play action. Garrett, Hail Mary. Garrett's gonna be down there somewhere, bro. Just believe. <laughs> if you see Garrett, just throw the ball. Oh God! Hey, honestly, that that'd be the, your best bet. It's just tanking for a great quarterback. If you see seventeen, hey, he down there. If you at least get a top ten pick, there are some. There are going to be some good quarterbacks in this next draft. Honestly, if, if we had the first, if, I bet that I don't think we're going to even. We're not going to tank. We're not going to be the worst. Team. You won't be the worst team. We're going to get. I, we're going to get. We're going to get. Yeah, we're going to get above eight wins. We're, we're going to get above. We're gonna get eight not wins. Eight? Get eight we're wins. at least eight wins. Y'all are not with Zach Wilson. I think. We're, I think. I think it's what's going to happen. Zach Wilson probably has one more game. If, no, no, listen. If you, <laughs> no, no, that listen. one more game. No, 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 listen, listen. Because think about it. this season, he's really played bad twice. Oh, what was the good? And no, no, Buffalo, he didn't play bad. Like I said, he had a higher passer rating than Patrick Mahomes. If you're gonna criticize him, you gotta criticize Mahomes. You gotta keep was, the same energy. Mahomes was also mediocre. No, he wasn't. No, he was not. Well, no, the first half, Mahomes was energy. really good. Mahomes was really good in the first. Zach half. Wilson didn't play like for Zach Wilson standards. He did not play bad week one. But Patrick Mahomes, it wasn't Patrick Mahomes' fault. See, you're making excuses. I no, say, Zach I, Wilson was literally. I could say, I could say, Zach play. Wilson wasn't Zach Wilson's fault. He played that bad. Like you got to keep the same energy. All right, we'll, we'll we'll call that week one. one wasn't bad. That's all. It wasn't we'll call bad. It mid. We'll call it mid. It was mid. It wasn't so bad. That's all I'm saying. It was terrible. For Zach Wilson, mid is good. That's not the point. We're at. Is that the point? <laughs> that's, that's the point. He's the starter. <laughs> for Zach, Wilson. he's not the back. Well, he is the backup coming in. But if Zach Wilson has a decent game, I'm like, all right, bro. That's all we need. It wasn't even decent to me. It was just like he didn't make that many mistakes. That's all he I'm didn't. Saying. But like when you look at the game, you look at Zach Wilson. You're like Zach Wilson is Zach Wilson. That's what I'm you saying. You didn't see anything that was like he might be good in another game. I was like, okay, he had a pick. He didn't have any other crazy. He had one pick. I, like I said in my reaction, Zach Wilson gets one courtesy pick a game. He if he throws one, I'm like, all right, that, that's expected. All right, if he throws one, I'm like that's expected. And every time he throws a pick, it's just such a bad <laughs> pick, bro. He might have like a crazy mixtape of just horrible picks, bro. How do you look that up? Like a shack, that bro. You need a you need a react. I, I need that, to see bro. like a low light. Tape, It'll be bro. like a thirty minute Zach Wilson <laughs> turnover is tape. Crazy. Zach Wilson throwing it or something. Bro, when he drops minutes. back, sometimes he just his entire body language is like I'm scared as fuck right now. He just panics. Like I don't know, bro. Like he's but listen. Terrible. He did, listen, week one he, gets, he he didn't play that bad. Week two he was playing an elite defense. Guy gave him some slack. He was playing an elite defense. He was, the D line was raping our old line. Uh, like Josh Michael Dobbs Parsons, looked like Josh Allen against the Cowboys defense. That that is fair. But Michael said, Parsons was doing whatever he wanted against our old line. I watched that game. No, I was like Zach. Was. I, I, I cut off in the fourth quarter. I was like Zach, this game is not your fault. And I saw the two picks. And when I was ragged, I was like, okay, he's trash. But Zach Wilson, this is expected. Yeah. But it was it was bad. Don't get it twisted. But that game, it's kind of like a shady. You know what I'm saying? Last game was like the first real game. I was like, bro, this I mean, dude I mean, is, it is Bill terrible. Belichick. Bill Belichick knew he was going to expose him and not He's let terrible. him move the ball. So I, that's why I'm really thinking, okay, this game, this upcoming game against Kansas City. Kansas City doesn't have an elite defense. They do have a good, decent D-line, though, with Chris Jones. Honestly, their defense rusher. has been pretty pretty decent. Garrett Wilson's cooking whoever he wants, realistically. What do you if Aaron Rodgers is that quarterback, Garrett Wilson is my But you said if Aaron Rodgers They haven't is even that put it, but, like, they've held every team to what? Under twenty points, except they, the Lions. Who have they played? They played the Lions, the Jags, and the Bears, bro. That's Everyone not expected common. the Lions to be like that, and then they only. I expect them to beat the what, Chiefs. That's because you want to know why? I mean, Jared Goff also didn't play that great of a game. Either, yeah, and they didn't have Chris Jones, so like, right. Okay, and like, now they have Chris Jones, and their defense is but really playing good. Playing Jacksonville, like well, Jacksonville only scored one, nine points. Jacksonville's not all that though. But they only they scored have a good nine points. They, Jacksonville's kind of been exposed these first few games. They're not making. Yeah, the but so like the first game, Super Bowl. Pick, Smith picked them to go to the Super Bowl. I did pick them to go to the Super Bowl. And Trevor Lawrence going to be MVP. Like they've been kind of exposed. It's not bro. looking like a good pick, man. And like the Bears, do I even have to go in on the Bears, bro? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, they took care of business. They they the Bears. Their the Jets plates. could probably put up twenty on the Bears in the first half. Who would put up twenty? I don't think you guys are capable. Dude. I don't think Zach Wilson wait, wait, can wait, score what? twenty points in the oh, yeah, yeah, like I just don't, I, I don't right. think Zach Wilson can that. even you score twenty points that. against I'm anybody. Saying, it's the Bears, bro. I'm gonna okay, be honest, bro. If Zach the Bears suck. If you drop Zach Wilson on Alabama's team right now and had him play in the SEC, I don't think he could score twenty points. I'm gonna be honest, bro. He looks so bad. Put him on a. He played at BYU. <laughs> Who does BYU play against, bro? 
Like, I can't even believe he even got drafted number two, bro. But you, you bro, it's just Woody's like, fault. It's Woody. You got to blame Woody and Joe Douglas. At they need to day. take away Pro Day. That's what I'm saying. They take got, Pro they Day got, away, they, bro. They, they were, they were, take they, Pro Day away. zipped his pants down for, like, two months off yeah, of a bro. Pro Day throw. They were like, off ooh, look at this day, throw bro. by Zach Wilson. Like, every quarterback does have I was saying, day. granted, Fields isn't playing the best right now. But if you put Justin Fields on the Jets, I think we would be in a better situation. 100%. 100%. Like, yeah. You could at least use his athleticism way more than you can use I don't know if y'all going to get any throws off, but. But I'm just saying he's At way better more than of a Wilson. threat than Zach yeah, Wilson. Like, you know Justin, what he like Justin do. Fields last year, like, I don't know what happened this year, but like uh, last year Zach Wilson was playing. I mean, not Zach. Don't even, not Zach Wilson. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll try to say he was playing good last year. Hell no. Nah. Justin Fields oh, played God. pretty good. Like, like he was playing good last yeah, year. Yeah, he was. He was. He well, was for what he had, because people remember yeah. people were clamoring like, "Oh my God, get Fields help." The switch up is very crazy. But like Fields needs some help. Now everybody's hating on Fields. For, I mean, like, he has been really. Bad. I would, I'm a Fields believer. So, I think it's still turning around. Like, I think, think about so too. Zach Wilson has been playing like how Justin Fields has been playing for three yeah. years. Justin Fields has been doing that for three years. Oh, I, I have to say this, bro. Why are they not running design runs for Fields? They haven't done it literally in any of the games. Got them no see. Why? Why are they not running? That's the thing he does best. You get him one receiver, and you're like, we're not going to run the That's ball. That's why John Harbaugh and Lamar have great chemistry. Right. Because he understands his quarterback. Right. He like, knows his skill set. And I honestly, like, I don't even know if what the Ravens doing is going to be sustainable. Because I don't think that's Lamar's game. I don't I think, think you can just yeah, turn him into Lamar, a pocket pass. Think about Lamar, bro. It's, like, I forgot. Who were they playing last week? The Colts. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's da- it's getting a little dangerous. Like I, I'm getting yeah, a little nervous. He's getting for him. sacked, but he's, he's getting, getting yeah. even when he escapes the pocket and he's running, he doesn't dive half the time. Right. He's taking hits. Bro. Yeah. They, so like I they need they need it. He needs to he needs to get that together because you know he's injury prone as well. Like yeah. they, they need Lamar in order to go to where they want to go. I don't know. I just I didn't really like how he looked against the Colts. Like they lost. It's like, undefeated. Like, oh wait, they, they lost. The oh yeah, they lost. Yeah, and it was more. like ugly to me. Like they're. Their O line was they have lost wasn't good. They were making mistakes. Like I don't know, man. They should not have lost that game. They should no excuse. And everyone was blaming Justin Tucker for missing what like a sixty yard field. Yeah, it was a sixty one. I'm like, bro, he's Justin Tucker. I mean, people that's expect that's that's the point. That's I mean, yeah, I do, I do him expect him to make it. But like, he missed one. He was I blaming the game on himself. I'm like, I come on, bro. It's all me, guys. But not I feel it though. He is Justin Tucker. But hey, man, we're talking about frauds, man. We gotta get into the last game of the week one recap, bro. The Dallas Cowboys. What did you say? Said I met him at Shake Shack. He pulled up. <laughs> Justin Tucker. <laughs> he took him as uh, my dog. <laughs> he, don't flick, he don't remember nah, you, bro. They were fanboying though. They were oh fanboying crazy. Oh my god! Fanboying a kicker. Bro, he was crazy. like with this Tucker's, family. T- Tucker is him. Nah, though. Tucker is tough. Like when he walked in, they already had his order ready. Like they were like, "Oh yeah, what's up, Justin?" Like <laughs> I get. They were like, "He's a regular in here." And I turned around. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I didn't say that. I just like looked and like. You dabbed him up, bro. Nah, he just like said what's up because I was like doing shit in the kitchen, like making shit. Oh yeah, I forgot you worked. You worked yeah, I was working. Head. I was like behind there, and I like turned. I was like, oh shit, I didn't do that, but like, I was like, <laughs> he just like what's up, like <laughs> on some cool and shit. Can I get a selfie again? Yeah, like the nigga gave me a head nod. I was like, all right, Justin, that's all you needed. That's, that's all, you all needed. I needed. Bro. All I needed was the head nod. He does I was not like, know you, bro. He doesn't know me at all. <laughs> I remember you, bro. He doesn't know me at all. But if he comes back in, I'm definitely getting a flick. I would have gotten a flick, Bradley. Like too many people were were walking up. I couldn't oh yeah, that's facts. Yeah. He was with he his was family. Like, yeah, he I was like, like, I wouldn't do like it. If, if he's with his family, you gotta give you gotta give him respect. Yeah, and they were like, like LeBron. There. I ain't gonna lie, LeBron. You can do it the entire thing. You can be with Savannah. I'm if pulling LeBron's up. LeBron's with the bro. family. I'm coming up and dapping everybody up one by one. I'm like Steph. <laughs> I don't care. Well, Steph get, Steph got little kids still, so he I already met fast. Bron. So you met Bron? Yes, when I was little. You met and I met his sons. I met his sons at the airport multiple times. Wait, whoa, whoa This man is, you never whoa. told this story. Whoa, what? You met, Bron? You met Bron? I know you got yes. met Kyrie. He met Kyrie too. <laughs> what the f- How yes. did you meet Kyrie? I got a ball sign from him. Yes. Yeah. Oh. This man's a celebrity. Oh, yeah, He's you, a do, celebrity. you do live in the nah, land. Yeah. How'd you meet LeBron, though? Story time for the yeah, story. I need so, story so, so my dad, he ran this, uh, this little league, this basketball league. It was like, it was kind of popular, I guess. It's not crazy popular, but it was popular enough. And then we got LeBron to go in and play a couple games. It was like a Drew League. Oh, he shit. He played a couple games, and after the games, he uh, he came up. And man, LeBron just pulled up? Yeah, multiple times. It was like, he, it was he like da- twice. He dapped you up? Yeah, I was, I was little, yeah. We had, we, did you have your Golden State hat on? Did you have your huh? Golden State hat on? That was good. <laughs> did you have your Golden State hat on? LeBron would be so disappointed if you found out how Christian turned out, man. Chill, bro. He'd be like, this man's a hey, Golden State fan. Hey, Steph's going to beat your ass. <laughs> 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 Now, that's what's up though. If I met LeBron, I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I think I might be speechless. Yeah. Like no dick. Like no yeah, dick. No I'm just saying. LeBron like, is Bron. Like, like Bron. Like we were just talking about this earlier. Bron one of my top five player players, bro. Yeah, he's always been. Wait, one of my favorite and players. I met him at the parade. You went to the parade? 
This man's a Our parade. Oh, if I was in Cleveland, I would have went to the parade. Oh, yeah. So, look. JR, He's not even a fan. That's no, no, crazy. Look, look, look. J.R. Smith. J.R. poured him a shot from listen, the, from the just, bus. Just listen. Just listen. <laughs> just listen. So, he was at the parade. My, my brothers, some of my brothers, it was half of us. Half of us went on the float. So, we had a float, and then because of the because of our, uh, You had a float. Yeah, our, our family had a float because of, of the league. Don't say because This the man league. is the it was king of the league. What was the league? Of, the league? The Drew League? It was, it was, it's called Fun Game. So we, we was in a, a league, and then it's like we're popular around Cleveland. So we got our own float. This man's the prince Cause, of Cleveland. Because like every every like every year we would go and like uh, shoot around at halftime on the court. What? On the basketball. Like Cavs? Yes, Cavs at halftime. Once oh, a, you were once, one of those kids. Once a year. That'd be like running onto the onto the court during halftime. Yeah, prince, yeah. prince of Cleveland. And we, we would hoop for like five minutes. And then we would get up. Oh, so, wait, so how did you meet him again? Like, LeBron came on your float. was like, okay, no, 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 I didn't, I didn't tell my story. Okay. And shit. So, it was half of us on the float, half of us weren't on the float. I was a part of the people that weren't on the float because I didn't want to go. And then, um, so, all my brothers in the past, we were just chilling. And, and then J.R. Smith came up to me, my brother, and my mom. What's going on, fam? Yeah, huh? That, that was up. He was like, yo, come with me. I, I'm about to come meet LeBron and, uh, Oh, so he, that's tough. So he, that's very so tough. So on the way, they was on the way to us, and then he walked us over. I got a picture of it with him uh, having us on, like, he was holding us our shoulders like that. And he walked us over to Brian and Kyrie. I came over, dapped both of them up, because they, they, the they was in the same car. How old were you? Huh? Uh, well, 2016, so you were, what, like, 13? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. If I was in middle school and I met Brian, bro. Bro, no, no dude here at the end of Nobody. I'd go on FaceTime be like, say hi, Brian. <laughs> I'd be going crazy, bro. What? This man is the Prince of oh, Cleveland. Oh, nah. Yeah, bro. Really the Prince of Cleveland over you here. You met man. Kyrie. Bro, J.R. Smith dapped up your fam. So you met the greatest be. people to ever yeah. step foot in Cleveland sports. Like, but we're going to talk about the Cowboys and Cardinals real quick. Like, we kind of went over. We oh, got yeah. We got to talk about that. But the Dallas Cowboys. And t- I wish Kamani was here, bro. I know, bro. I was just thinking that, bro. In typical Cowboys fashions they destroy new york it's our every no it's crazy everybody in my comments y'all are getting exposed everybody in my comments this is our year don't be mad you're a jets fan every year is this their is year. our year <laughs> when is it not no, no, no. Year. Everybody, everybody, i'm like bro I, I said i made it i made a youtube short it was in it was in my reaction i was like bro at the end of the day y'all are still the dallas cowboys y'all can go 14 and 3 and y'all are still gonna lose in the first round of the playoffs you're like bro y'all are hating bro i know we say this every year but this year is different <laughs> then bro. they say that every year also <laughs> Like, our de- like this defense on, is bro. legit. Michael Parsons, bro, your defense got lit up by Joshua Dobbs. The man doesn't even have a jersey in the Arizona Cardinals I team peep, store. I just peeped that, bro. He doesn't have a jersey he in the team store. They're not even store. selling his merchandise. And he got, they got lit up by him. And it wasn't like it was close either. They got beat by, He's what, a two scores? generated player, and he beat them, bro. <laughs> oh. He beat him by two scores, yeah. Oh, God, bro. The defense didn't show up. Dak was doing typical I mean, Dak they, things. They did lose it's been Trayvon Diggs. It's been seven it's years, player, bro. bro. That that is an impactful player. Bro. But it's one player. That's like losing Sauce player. Gardner. That's not like losing Sauce. How? Sauce is way better than Trayvon Diggs. It's way better. Yes. In, in coverage, yeah. He's coverage, he's yeah. that would be like losing like yeah. I don't know who to really compare him to for for but like that's like that's like losing Ramsey at this point type. Is Ramsey back? He's not Gardner? back, Bums. I'm talking about like, is he back? No, uh, no, he's, he's, he's not, not back. Yeah, but I'm saying like at this point in Jalen's career, it's probably like losing somebody like Ramsey or somebody. Like dig people overhype Diggs, especially Cowboys fans. He's good, but he's a hype. Yeah, he, he's he can't he's really, he's fifty not, he's not, fifty in coverage to me. Like he's not. Yeah, he's a good man. He is yeah, good he's man. like an he's aggressive ball hawk corner, but he's not like a great coverage. You can tell he used to play wide receiver. Back yeah, he runs people's routes with. But that's not ex- that's not even close to nah, losing. Bro, it's not because their offense couldn't even score. Like they got Dak was terrible. We <laughs> you know Dak. Dak got, I keep saying it, bro. <laughs> it's been seven <laughs> years. We know what Dak is, <laughs> like, bro. Every year they're like, like Dak's top, top ten this year. Dak's top ten. I keep telling people there are ten. Kirk Cousins. The gap between Kirk Cousins and Dak you right. right now you were right. is so – I've been saying it, though. I'll, I'll give you your props. I've right. been saying it. Kirk is – if if they Kirk had is. Kirk Cousins instead of Dak, they would be so much better than they are right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. At least Kirk will put up numbers. He might sell, but he'll put up numbers. Kirk just be throwing that ball, man. Kirk, they said Kirk's on work. pace to break the passing record. Kirk right? is going crazy. He has like a, over a thousand yards but already. He's just throwing that ball. ball. He is just slinging that thing. <laughs> just Kirk th- don't give a fuck. He's like, where is Justin at? <laughs> Justin's been eating, bro. He's like, where is Justin? <laughs> He's down there somewhere, bro. Nah, but Kirk has been cooking. I don't. But don't even get me started. The on Dallas that. Cowboys. I hope the Cowboys fans keep that same energy, bro. I'm a react to. I, I should have reacted to that game for real, but I was down bad over the Jets. Yeah. Who they played this? Dallas. I don't even. 
Check, bro. Hey, I got the laptop. We got, we got, we got, we got on point. Hey, the, the, the Cowboys after that game are in permanent fraud watch until the season's over. Yeah. Permanent fraud watch. Oh, yeah, you can't lose. Bro, the, the, they haven't won a game. The Cardinals did not win a game. Yeah. I mean, come on, bro. That's why I'm not even mad about the Commanders. Because at least Dallas lost to the fucking Cardinals. Yeah. And we beat them. Oh, Dallas got the Patriots. They might lose the you just, Patriots. You just had to honest. say that, bro. You did, you did not need to say that. You could have been like, oh, that, that's going to be a difficult matchup for him. You said, oh, the team y'all lost to. Because y'all lost to them. Y'all lost to the Lions. I could bring that up. Okay. We didn't have our team. Yeah, they they didn't have two of their three best players. Oh, y'all got Aaron Rodgers, you don't say? Yeah, we don't have Aaron Rodgers. We don't have, don't have the whole I mean, season. If, if y'all didn't have Mahomes, it would be over for your season. So, yeah, yeah. I agree. Thank so. If y'all, that's yeah, a that's, that's, a, that's a very good No, point. That, that, that is valid. Like, that's, that's, like that's, losing, that's losing literally our friends. But I don't think your O-line is good. I don't even think your O-line after I did what say I'm that. seeing. I did say that, yeah, though. After it might, it, this might have happened eventually because, like, it would have been a match. Especially against Dallas. Especially against Dallas, it would have been bad for Rodgers. Yeah, I think he would have might have... Oh yeah, it, Mike, it might have been Mike ending it instead of that. Because he's not going to be, able, he wasn't going to be able to like really escape. But Dallas, you're frauds, man. But that wraps up the week. We kind of, we kind of went over talking about the, what's it called, Cleveland and all of that. Facts. That, wraps, the up land, the, the that wraps up the land, the prince of the land over here. Oh god, prince of Cleveland. Not the see prince. that? You're not coming. You, you need Cleveland. days out your IG bio, bro. The Prince, Prince, of Prince of Cleveland. Prince of Cleveland is crazy. That would be, that'd be crazy, yeah. bro. Prince of Ohio. <laughs> that'd be really crazy. But nah, hey, we're going to take a quick commercial break, bro. We're going to get into our week three predictions, man. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We're back, man. You feel me? Quick commercial break for y'all, boys. We're getting right into the NFL week four predictions. Starting out with Thursday night football, y'all. Lions are taking on the Packers. Who y'all got, man? Um, honestly, bro, I'm gonna probably go with the Lions just because I feel like. Well, actually, come back to me. Come back to me. Edit that out. Edit that out. No, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so now I think about. No, it, I want to so take first, the Packers. So first he edited out his. Nah, chill, I want to take, take the Packers, bro. First he out. I want to take the Packers. The intro, and now now we're trying to edit this. Out. Wait, all right. I don't know what he just said, but you, <laughs> you, got, you, got, you, got, the, you got the Packers. Yeah, I'm taking the Packers, bro. Who you got? This man's a op, bro. Nah, man. I got the Lions, bro. Yeah, I got back. I got the Lions. That's cool. Bro. I think I think this might be Jameer Gibbs finally a break. I, I have it on my so fantasy team, hope. bro. He's just he got so, so much, much hope. hope Jameer Gibbs. No. I hope my, I think Montgomery's still gonna be out, bro. This is your time, please. I'm begging you. If I put you on my lineup, I need thirty, bro. Actually, I need twenty. I need twenty. I need twenty. I need twenty. I need 20. All right, we're getting to the Sunday games. First game, Falcons versus Jags. We all got man. Nine thirty a.m. Nine thirty a.m. Wait, what? I think it's a London game. On a Thursday? No, Sunday. Oh, yeah, it's probably the London I think it's the London game. I'm going to be sleep. Uh, I got Jags. I got Jags, but Trevor needs to step up. Yeah, Trevor. Honestly, their defense needs to step up. They shouldn't be letting the Texans do them like that. I think the Falcons have a chance, but I'm going to take the Jags as well. Uh, next game, got the Rams versus the Colts, bro. I got the Rams. I'm confident about the Rams. I miss Jonathan Taylor, bro. <laughs> but I got the I got the, uh, no, I got the Colts. Low key. Wait, is Anthony Richardson back? How long is he out? I think he's still out. Think As of right now, I think he's questioning. It definitely matters. I'm, I'm going to look it up for you. I'm going to look it up for you. I'm going to look it up I for you. I think so. I think the Rams will just win that game. I mean, it, it does it does make a difference. I'm no, it does make a difference, but I still think yeah, the Rams he, he's still, he's still in concussion protocol right now. As of right now. Oh, my God. They don't need him getting hurt. Like, yeah. He's, like, we were talking about Lamar. He doesn't dive, and he was just doing yeah. the most early on. But he's like, he's a rookie. Like, he... He'll learn. Trevor tried telling him. Trevor said, "Look, man, you need to learn to dive, bro." And actually, I think he can throw the ball like pretty well for being a rookie. So I think he was on the on point to be probably the best rookie quarterback. But CJ Stroud, though, he's oh, yeah, he looks good. really Stroud's good. I like CJ Stroud a lot. Carolina's probably so sick right now. No, I don't think it's Bryce Young's fault. I don't. It's not his fault, but like their team is just terrible. Stroud to me is just a better. I think he's a better like. He's better. I think like he has the better physicals. He's yeah. taller. I think he's like, he can sustain like more. I think yeah. he can throw deeper than Bryce Young. I yeah. think he can look over like the line and just make better reads than Bryce Young. He's just Young. stronger. Yeah, but Rams, Colts, who'd you say? If Richardson not playing? <coughs> if Richardson not playing, I got the Rams. I got the Rams, too. I think Puka can have himself a game. Bro, he's, he's just naming <laughs> he can everybody on his, on his uh, fantasy. I mean, Puka game. might have a game. Puka is him. Puka, Puka, yeah, proven Puka, Puka is good. I think he's good. But it might just be the McVay system. It yeah. could be. It um, could be. It could be. Is Puka coming back this season? He comes back next week. He's on IR, so he has to miss the, at least the first four games. So I think he'll come back next week. Hey, Puka's numbers are going to drop. Oh, yeah. They're going to go down a little bit, but I think he's still <clears> going to get his reps because he already has this connection with Stafford. 
like, like that doesn't uh, make Stafford sense. Stafford loves Cup though. He like, oh when yeah, Cup's he, on the field. Cup. Stafford is like oh, at least fifteen. And like, he's, he's, he's gonna drop him like an old Tory a little bit. But at the same time, if you build up a connection with something, why why does it hurt to have Cooper, Cooper and Puka? oh it doesn't. Like, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Design. I'm saying it's gonna hurt. Like for he has you. options <laughs> for his targets. Hey man, I think he'll still get some TDs. Uh, but anyways, uh, um, going on to the next game, got a little rivalry game taking yeah, place. We, the Buccaneers taking on the Saints, bro. Oh, I got Saints. Their defense is. Olave is looking good. It's really not, honestly, it's not even their offense. Their defense is probably top three to five in the league right now. Their defense is really. Their defense good. is looking good, but I'm just saying that boy. Olave. Oh yeah, Olave is nice, but I think I don't think they'll be able. But to you got keep in mind though, Derek Carr might be out. That's what I'm saying. James and Winston James was, was not looking, looking good. Did they lose? Bad. Did yeah. They show? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think, but I think their defense is gonna carry know, them Bucks? wins. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave you all. So you got the Saints? Who? Yeah. Saints. I, I think I'm gonna take the Bucks, bro. I think because they, I got came on. If Derek Carr doesn't play, Jameis was not looking good at all. I think Baker and Mike Evans has built up a good connection. Rashad White's oh, a have. good running back. You feel me? Got Godwin. Then the Buccaneers' defense isn't half bad either. Did you say Mike? Mike Evans. I just don't think they'll be able to do Baker anything Evans, against. Baker and Mike Evans have had a good connection so far throughout these first. But I don't think weeks. they'll do it against the Saints because their defense is too good. They do have that boy Lattimore. Lattimore I even Lattimore, nice. like their whole, like honestly, they just have a great core. I like, think they're I, experienced too. Like they're just, I just a great don't. Defense. I just don't see them really. Squ- like I, Jameis Winston, I saw I, he is inconsistent as hell. He might, he might have had a bad game. Jameis he Winston might have four touchdown games. Oh God! So, I, well, that is, that, yeah, that is a good point. I might. Uh, I just don't see the Bucks playing good against the Saints defense. I can't see it. I'm gonna switch to the Saints. I'm taking the Saints. Scratch that. I'm taking the Saints. I, I didn't think that was some good points. That was some good points. Honorable, honorable. All right, we got the Dolphins and the Bills. That should be a good game. Dolphins, give me the Dolphins right now. See that? I mean the Dolphins. Prince Why of you right say now. like that? Prince dude. of Cleveland. Yeah. Don't call me. Prince of Ohio, not, the King of Ohio. <laughs> do not call me. He met LeBron and Kyrie and Jr. LeBron's predecessor. He met a lot of people, but that <laughs> I met a lot. this man is famous. Yeah, he had a float. <laughs> Them boys had a float out there. The Prince of Cleveland. Uh, Who you got again? I can't. I can't pick for that game. I ain't gonna lie, because if, if Josh Allen doing Josh Allen things, he he was doing Josh Allen things against the Commanders though. Like we're not the Dolphins. The Dolphins can score. A that's, lot what, of that's what I'm saying. Like, it's going to be a shootout. And Josh Allen's going to make a Unless, costly mistake. That's what I'm saying. If he was doing bad mistakes against the commanders, yeah, I just, I can't, like, he, he is yeah. going to happen. But yeah, he's Bills, not going to outshoot Bills them. The Bills have good, de- a good defense. They're not. They're going to guard Tyreek. Yeah, they're not. They're not, they're not okay, and Waddle's right. going to no be back, too. Tyree. Waddle's going to be back, too. Why don't now the run game, the, the run game's probably get a little more limited because the D line, the lead D line for Buffalo is pretty good. But but I think they'll. I'm taking Miami. I think they'll use both backs now. Like I think they're going to. Incorporate, 50/50? yeah. Not, I think they'll still carry. Not, not fifty fifty, but right. I think they're just going to incorporate yeah, HA gonna, more. Incorporate probably out of the past, they were, they were probably impressed. Yeah, I think so. I don't I've, even know though because Raheem Mostert, he's one of the fastest running backs. Yes, no, but eight. And like he's if good. You look, HA is too. Like they're both kind of the same back to me. They're both you can good. use them in the same way I remember when and I, just switch them out. I remember when it was it was him at uh, Mostert and uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. No, are you talking about? When they was on the 49ers. Elijah Moore. Oh, oh. It was, uh, it was uh, not Elijah him Moore. Him and um, Brita. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, oh. yeah, Mostert was, was, was. I remember they, they was playing against the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. And they was, they was running the ball yeah. with this. Nah, Mostert was, yeah. was actually going crazy. Mostert he had, like, 200 has, yards that one game. He saw us juice left in the tank. Yeah. But I definitely got Miami. Who do you got? Chris, you got to give a team, bro. Who you got? If you had to put money on it. Or if I had to. I if you had your to. Last I would put money on that game. Your last dollar has to be on the line on this game. Who are you putting on if your wife said, Christian, if you want some good tonight, you're putting money on this I'm, game. I'm like, All right, I guess if you want to eat today. Christian, I, mean, I, I, I was racing some crazy. But keep going. Oh, keep going. Yeah, yeah. You're, <laughs> why? I don't know what you're about to say. Um, I'm not trying to get canceled. I'm going to bills, bro. Okay. That's respectable. All right. Big Josh Allen guy over here. Next game, got Ravens and Browns, man. I think. Bro, the Browns got a great defense. Top five. I'm going to be honest, bro. I might have the Browns, too. Do the Browns not have a top five defense? I, I just Top five might be a stretch. Maybe top ten. Name four. Jets? No. Cowboys? Cowboys is one. I'm not Saints. naming. I'm not giving you the Jets. The Jets, bro. Niners. What, 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 what do the Browns have better than the Justin Miles Garrett, besides Miles Garrett? They have a good – They have a good. Uh, I'm, a, I'm asking you to name players. Who do they have better on their defense that's besides Miles Garrett? Oh you can't oh name one. I don't you have to can't name, name one. Because I, I don't want to name one. 
You really cannot name one. Oh and Buff and you gotta keep in mind that Jets have played tougher competition than that. Cloudy? Over like do over do like what Quinn and Williams? No, of course not. But like overall, I'm picking the Browns. They locked up Joe. I mean, Burrow. I think I think the Browns are gonna win. Bro, the Bengals are bro, Joe Burrow's injured right now. Oh my god. Blah blah. They haven't had they haven't played as much come. I just think Miles Garrett's going to terrorize who, the Ravens' who, who, offense. Who, who, who have the Browns played these past Okay, who did they just play recently? They, I think they played the Titans. Yeah, they okay, busted man. the Titans. Yeah, they fucked. No comp. They have Ryan no, Tannehill. I, did, I did pick the Titans, but they have Ryan Tannehill at the end of the day. I was going off momentum. But they have Derrick Henry. He got what? Yeah, Derrick nothing. Henry couldn't do anything. Nothing. He got shut down. I just don't think – I don't think the Ravens will, will play got, very well. I got the Ravens, boy, because we all know why. The only the, – their main, main run game is Lamar. Lamar's gonna get his little regardless. You feel me? I don't. I don't, I don't know think about he is, that, bro. bro. Gonna, bro look, I y'all, don't know. y'all got faith. Baltimore's going to win this game. They probably the Ravens, thought the same the way about the Colts. The Ravens are gonna win this game. And the Ravens and gonna they win played this game. and they had a shitter. All right, it was a bad game. Everybody's a bad game. Cowboys just lost the Cardinals. Your team just got smacked by. 40. That's a good point, but I, I think the Ravens have noticeable weaknesses. I don't think they're as good as people made them out to be. Personally, I don't think so. I got the Ravens. I think their offensive line is too weak. They lost. They lost uh, Dobbins. Their defense looks suspect. I don't know. I just don't. But I don't the, really but trust. You them. Really trust Deshaun Watson. I don't. I don't. I don't trust either of them. But Coop. I, just, I trust Coop. I, I think they'll shut down Lamar. I think they'll. I think they'll, their defense will play good. They're against. gonna. They're gonna see. They're gonna see. If something. we had, I got the Ravens. I'm not, I, I'm, I got. I got faith in my boy Lamar, man. If the Browns had Nick Chubb, it'd be a clear. No, All right. Next game got the Bengals versus the Titans. You feel me? Who y'all got? I got Bengals. I trust a little bit more now. Even though they they weren't that impressive against the the Rams, I still think they showed that they were. Joe Burrow was getting at least somewhere, but honestly, like if they win against the Titans, I think if Joe Burrow isn't one hundred percent, they should sit him for at least a week or two, just to be safe. Rather would, be safe than sorry. That's what I'm first. saying. Because if you can go three and three, you can still make the playoffs and have a run. Like with Joe Burrow one hundred percent healthy, there's no point in. Just hoping he doesn't get injured while he's 70, 80 percent. That's kind of how I see it. I think he'll still win though. I got the Bengals winning. You know, Jamar Chase, he, he's getting his rhythm back. Yeah, they're getting there. They're getting there. They're making strides now. I got the Bengals winning, but I think it's gonna be a close game for real. The Titans like to show up in games. They really shouldn't have like yeah. good odds in. They might run over. I think him. they might run all over him. I think I'm about to say I don't know who's gonna really stop Henry for real. Yeah. Trey Hendricks. No, Trey Hendrickson is nice. And um, what's the other dude's I still, name? I got, I got um, Hubbard. Yeah, they they got some players, but I I don't know. Derrick Henry might come to play. I think he'll come to play. Bounce yeah. back week. Yeah. We got your team, bro. Commanders and the Eagles, bro. We still got, got who we got, bro. Listen, bro. I have to be objective, bro. I I just don't see it, man. <laughs> okay, I thought you were saying something. I just don't see it. Like I, I'm gonna be objective. Like I'm not gonna sit here and act like we're being the Eagles. The Eagles, even though they're not playing their best right now, they're still like taking care of the teams that they're better than. Yeah. So I just I don't see us beating them. I'm gonna be honest. But honestly, I do think it won't be like the Bills game. I think it'll be somewhat close. Like I think they'll only beat us by seven to ten. Okay. So the Eagles. Who got? I got the Eagles. Mm-hmm. I think that's a no brainer. I got the Eagles. Yeah. Like honestly, I wouldn't. I'm, I can't come on here and say we're gonna beat All the right. Eagles, especially after last last game, bro. Right. Got, I got confidence that Joe's going to be good. Oh, God, he came up there right, bro. bro. because I liked what I saw, but then he turned he's into like, a look, pumpkin, man. bro. Sam Howell? I liked what I saw, true. bro. What can I say? And then he turned into a pumpkin, bro, immediately. <laughs> pumpkin is crazy. All right, then we got America's Game of the Week, man. Don't say Broncos that. taking on the Bears, man. That's oh, <laughs> Game of the Week, bro. Oh, my God. That game might get flexed to fucking no time. They <laughs> might not show that on national TV. Man, I saw like that it said, radio, bro. <laughs> it said stoppable force oh, versus a movable object. Hey, who y'all, who, who y'all got though? I I think I think who y'all got? Who I don't care. I'm gonna be honest. Bro. <laughs> I'm not watching that game. I'm I think the Broncos out. win just because I think Russ will take care of the Bears. Like yeah. I don't know, it, it could be a shootout. They might just not be able to stop each <laughs> other. Even, I don't it's know. Even, if the score is either gonna be six to six, <laughs> or, or like, it's gonna be like six to seven, or like thirty five to thirty. Yeah, it's gonna be either a shootout. or It's gonna be an absolute <laughs> shitter, and no one's gonna be able to score. Like we got Christian. Flip a coin. I don't. It's like it's no. Yeah. I think the, the team. I got the Broncos. Russell like, Wilson. If he like, has any gas left in the tank, he takes care of. I think this. it's gonna be a revenge game for Denver. I think whoever plays out. worse loses. Yeah. Duh. But no. who you got? I got the Bears. I guess. I mean, Justin Fields might come out there against that 
that. The defense that just got exposed and actually have a game. I do not think the Bears have no, a chance. No, I can't, I can't I see mean, it. I after, mean, after the Broncos got put 70 on. Bro, I think, bro, you got to keep in mind, though. You got got to do like Sean Payton. You got to do like Russell Wilson. You got a lot of nah, Russell, I think Russell Wilson I think, might cook I think, against the Bears. I think they're coming to play. Yeah, they're going to be. I think they're, they're going to come to make a statement. Bro. I think they might blow up. Well, don't the say make a statement. I think it won't be a statement. No, no. I think they're coming to like bounce back. It'll be like, hey guys, we're an NFL they're team trying, still. <laughs> that's why I'm saying like yeah. they're, they're trying to get their. Nah, they, back. I think they'll win by. They might win by. Thirteen. Like, it's gonna like be 10. a one. I think they're gonna win by. They're gonna win by like ten. It's gonna be a one point. I said ball. They're gonna win by. It could be a ten. A ten nine game after three quarters. To be honest, it's either gonna be a. A shootout an odd game. or a five to three. Yeah, a field goal game. There'll be like three safeties in the game, <laughs> five picks. Like it might, it honestly might be a shit fest. Like they might be turning the ball over, special teams touchdown. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm about hey, to see. Just, if you got any, either of them teams on defense, you better start them on fantasy because they're gonna start. have a good. Start is crazy. Well, actually, I don't know. It might be. I would not. It might be three to three it's after three quarters. I don't know. That is a good point. All right, next game got the Vikings and the Panthers. Oh, I got Vikings. Trusting Kirk. I'm trusting Kirk. I can't say what I got to say because I got waivers. But I got uh, I got the Vikings. I think the Vikings, they're 0-3. They're probably the best 0-3 we've seen in a yeah, while. Yeah, they're going to take care of They're going to they they win this game, I think. It, it is in Carolina, but I think they're going to win this game. Steelers, Texans. I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't know, though, because... The Steelers are bad, but their defense, like TJ Watt, is on a tear yes, right now. Mm-hmm. Honestly, on a tear too. Yeah, literally. Bro, honestly, I got, I probably got the, te- ah, no, I got the Steelers just because I trust in their defense more than I trust in the Texans' offense. Okay, I got the Steelers. I'm taking the Texans, bro. I would take the Texans if it wasn't for TJ Watt. CJ, CJ, and Nico Collins looking pretty good, bro. Damian Pierce looking like he's somewhat getting back into rhythm a little they bit. They haven't seen TJ Watt though. They haven't. You're right. I don't know. I just I don't see it, man. I don't they, see they, it. They they won a who did they play last week? I know they won. Oh, uh, the Jaguars. Yeah, they won. Yeah, but the and Jaguars they, they defense is suspect to me. But I'm saying they went head head with a good offense. Oh yeah, no. The to offense me, that's is one impressive. Thing. And yeah. it wasn't really close. I, I wanna so, Yeah, go ahead. To me, Kenny Pickett is trash. Terrible. So I, he's got the put he's point. He's got the put down there with Zach Wilson. He's got the He's not worse than Zach Wilson. He's not worse, but he's, like, yeah, he's on that bottom tier he's with got him. To, he's got to put up points for him to win. Yeah. But Najee Zach Wilson has his own tier. I don't see it happening. So nah, Najee is so, I'm taking the Texans. Yeah. I think Texans are going to win this game. No, nah, honestly, if C.J. Stroud plays good against, like, a, a T.J. Watt and Minka Fitzpatrick, I think it'll elevate him a little bit more. Like, I think CJ, he might be. I have be, faith in C.J., boy. Yeah, I think We should trade for him for real, for real. <laughs> trade, like, trade Zach Wilson mm-hmm. the first rounder for C.J. Right? It's like. Kenny Pickett's on an F tier, and then there's a Zach Wilson. Yeah, the Zach Wilson, Zach Wilson tier is, is I'll, the I'll tier. That. He's just an O tier. He's, yeah, he's on the Johnny Manziel tier. The okay. Jamarcus I Russell still tier. can't give him Johnny Manziel. <laughs> Johnny Manziel is I, he can't be Johnny. No, Johnny Manziel, Manziel is like the face of busts. Like he's bad. Yeah. Jamarcus Russell's down. Jamarcus like Russell too, and then and the, okay, that is all fact. three of them yeah, are in the I same. Yeah, I can't even make a case because he has literally similar yeah, stats. I think they're all the same. He has more interceptions than Jamarcus Russell, which is crazy. It's so crazy, bro. And he has a way better team than any of them had. Yeah, so way better. There's actually no excuse. Speaking of Jamarcus Russell, Raiders versus Chargers, man. Who I got the that? Chargers. Their offense is looking. Great. I mean, they don't got Mike no more. I don't, I don't think it matters. Keenan Allen's been on a tear for some reason. Is is uh, Keenan Allen's is Eckler back right. or no? I, he's questionable. He's yeah. questionable. He if Eckler back. plays, it's clear Chargers. But I think I still got them regardless. Keenan Allen's been cool. Especially well, when Mike Williams gets hurt too. Keenan Allen's can get Yeah, and Quentin Johnson might get more involved too. I want to yeah. see how he's going to look. Versus who? Who they play? Raiders and Chargers. Raiders. Mm. Who did Raiders play last week? They lost. Bro, they suck. Raiders they coaching. Their play calling is terrible. No, yeah, the Vikings no, no. had a They're, game. They have. They might he have did. the worst head coach. But in the bro, they was yeah. like. What? Oh yeah, why did they? Why yeah, did they that's go what I'm saying. Because he doesn't trust in they Jimmy the G. Field, they're doing Josh Jacobs so dirty too, bro. Yeah, I just don't think they're they're a good team. They like, need to they need to get Josh McDaniels out. Of that's it. what I'm saying. It's He's like, the reason why they're going to keep. This losing. is the battle of terrible coaches. You got Brandon yeah. Staley, or that's his Who, name, right? Yeah, Brandon Staley, Staley versus Josh McDaniels. Both of them. Who should will not be a coach. worse coach? Oh God, this really comes out of that. <laughs> Josh I, McDaniels is like the lowest but, of the low. But like, I think I terrible. think I think Brandon Staley going to redeem himself a little. But I'm taking the Chargers. Yeah, I got the Chargers. See that? Prince of Cleveland. Stop. <laughs> I got a Chargers. All right, baby, baby. All right, next game. Cardinals and 49ers. Hey. Hey, we doubted them last week. I don't I don't want to hear anything, bro. C-Mac is going to have a field day. Yeah. You, That's you, all you, I got to say. Gonna eat, you gonna eat I'm going to sure. eat, bro. He's going to be my goat next week. Yeah. So you got 49ers? Yeah, I got 49ers. And Debo. 
You got Christian. Hey, Christian looked like he pondered. He looked like he might be picking an upset. I got an upset, man. You got Cardinals? Are you being serious? The Cardinals upset the Cowboys and the Niners. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're, they're the upset team. That would be crazy. They're the team that upsets people. Nah. Josh Dobbs legacy nah, MVP. The Niners might come. Gonna, they, they're gonna lose them. the team. They're gonna lose the games they're supposed to win and win the game they're supposed to lose. So you, mm-hmm. you got you got the Cardinals for for? Hmm? Yeah. Like you being for? Real? Yes. I mean, wait. Why do you, like you act, like why do you, why do you have the Cardinals? You have to give an explanation. Just like just off of pure superstition. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not that delusional. I'm gonna take the 49ers game. <laughs> you are, that, but you are that delusional. How when, it comes to, delusional? when it comes to the Jets, wait till, we get to the Jets yeah, wait, wait till we get to the Jets game. Yeah, wait till we get to the Jets. Just wait till we get to the Jets. All right, Patriots versus Cowboys. We all got. It. I'm gonna be honest. I'm taking the Patriots. I, got I think they'll neutralize them, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't like the way the the, the Cowboys look right now. I mean, Ramondre well, not doing, sh- bro. I'm gonna let go, Christian. Go, Christian. I got the got the Cowboys, bro. The Cowboy Mac Jones is down there with Zach. People don't want to say it, but Mac Jones is bad, bro. He's he's not he's not he's not. I'm not saying he's bad. He's not he's not not D tier. He's 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 D tier. He's D tier. Mac Jones is not good. I wouldn't say he's he's probably like D tier. What has he done? He D plus tier. What has he done? I think he's D tier. He gets carried by his bro. Every time he plays the Jets, he gets carried by his. Who does he have to throw the ball to? You can make that argument for a lot of people. I know, but I'm saying, like, who he does has, he? He has Ramondre and Zeke in his back. No, I'm asking, oh, who, who does he, he have to throw the He has the Kendrick ball? Bourne and Juju. Exactly. Patrick Mahomes had Juju. Oh, and Travis Kelsey. Whoa, relax. He had Travis Kelsey. Bro, Juju that changes a Kendrick lot of Kendrick Bourne is not bad. Juju's not bad. Well, Ju- Juju's kind of bad. <laughs> Juju's Ju- a Juju, Juju tripped on Yeah, Juju's a two. Like, I would give. I would give Mac Jones. He would either be at the bottom of C tier or the top of D tier. Yeah, I don't think he's D tier. I think he. I think he's just a mid quarterback. He's in the midst of D tier, bro. I, I think it's Michael Parsons bad, is going bad. to have it's a not... field day. Right, you all know Michael Parsons. That might be honestly. I don't think the Cowboys are going to be able to get in the end zone. I think they're going to have to. Why are you looking at me like that? They couldn't get in the end zone against the Cardinals. Are the Card- is the Cardinals defense better than the Patriots? I think they're going to run the ball a lot more. I need a CD to do something. I think they're going to run. I think. Pollard's gonna run the ball down. The road. Even even when they blew out the the Giants, their offense really wasn't getting going. This is gonna be a revenge game for Dallas, bro. They're gonna come in trying to make a statement. They're at home. Their defense they're is gonna, gonna be good. I just don't think their offense is gonna play good against the Patriots. Patriots defense. Might not score a point. That needs to be. <sighs> Have you watched that? Like he's not. Been... The thing is, a good defense can overcome a bad quarter. That's what I'm trying no, to say no, with the no, Giants. No, what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying. <laughs> They're, I'm the saying their Jets. offense isn't going to be scoring. I don't, think. I don't think their offense is going to score. On the much. Patriots, Zach Wilson put up what ten on the how Patriots. How much? How much did the Eagles put up? They didn't play them yet this year. They did play the Patriots. The Eagles. Well, Aren't I talking about the Cowboys? No. Eagles, Patriots, they probably like, like what twenty five. Yeah. That, that's twenty five points. How much did their offense? And, they, and, put the, up? and the and the and the Eagles don't have a defense like the Cowboys. Yeah, but the Cowboys defense or the Cowboys offense has been mid. It's been very mid. You, can, bro, you you gotta keep in mind though, they did put up thirty on the Jets defense. I'm not, which is a honestly, top five defense. Honestly, they, I might they I'm, did put up forty. They did forty piece the Giants. I'm, you talk, can't, you I'm can't talking just, but I'm talking strictly about the offense. They put forty up and thirty up. Drew. How many of that was just from offense and not from turnovers? You can make that argument, but they still put up points as well. But their and offense just isn't playing. They put up how many points did they put up against the Cardinals? What was it like? 16. Did their offense even? Did Dak even up. score? Did they? 16. Like, I don't, like, did you watch them in the red zone? Like, they can't get in the end zone. They're not right. good on offense this yeah. year. Every team has a yeah. They put up sixteen, yeah. but at the same time, every team has a game like that. And you got to keep in mind, this is also a bounce back game as well. They got embarrassed. They're going to be coming back to make a statement against New England, and I hope they do. I hope New England doesn't score a point. I hope they get embarrassed. I mean, they're going to get embarrassed. I'm not. They're going to get embarrassed. The Cowboys I don't, I don't are going think to they're route gonna get this game. Bro. They're going to route the Patriots. Dak's going to have himself a 250 yard passing, two TD type game. I guess you just haven't watched Dak all year, bro. Dak is needs to be. He like, just hasn't heavy. been good. Like he's not. Their offense is he not playing bad good. For one game. No. What? what? No. He didn't did, play that bad against the Jets. I watched that. They okay, did even, the, even they against... Did, they did basic stuff against the Jets. And he still wasn't Granted, great. they didn't capitalize in the red zone. But That's what I'm saying. Time, they can't score. They, they cannot much, score. They pretty much just run the ball pile, and they give Zach, I mean, Dak short throws to do. CD gets open half the time as well. He, barely, he has a good offense. He really gets the ball. I don't know, Drew. Barely I, don't, I just don't think you've seen what Dak's been doing. Like, their offense has not been cooking. I'm just saying you can't base somebody off of one game. It's not off of one game, though. I know, I know what Go you're look saying. at all the games this season and look at what their offense has been doing. Just their offense. Not how many points they score. 
right, their he didn't, offense. Right, he didn't play bad. Right, either, right, either, either your teams. I don't want to pull up the stats, but I can't. All right, we can pull up the stats. We Please pull, pull up stats. stats. Pull up what their defense did against the Giants. Like, bro. Yeah, that 35 first downs by passing. That's half of their first downs is by pretty much okay. Dak Prescott's what they're saying. Okay. They're more than 50% on their third down conversions. That, that, that they're true. barely 50%. They have over 1,000 yards on offensive yards. And 400 of that is rushing. So pretty much they're saying 60% of their offense comes from throwing the ball. Six, yeah, yeah, I already said that. He has 69 completions for 103 yards. It's over 50%. That's actually like around 70%. Three, three rushing touchdowns, three passing touchdowns. Okay. So they're they have not, an elite running They've back. played three games. They have an elite running They've back. They've scored six offensive touchdowns well, you have an in elite. three games. That's my point. Okay, how, you can, okay, how many have the Jets scored? You can make that. The Jets, Jets are Jets. terrible on I, offense. I, 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 what I, are you talking bro, about? Bro, I'm just saying, though, you, when you have an elite defense, and they only have one defense. And their touchdown. offense got exposed against the Cardinals because they could not score, Drew. That's what I'm trying to say. Bro, but they're, they're not, bro. Who's the, that kicker? Who's that one? Dallas? Oh, I got their kicker. Don't worry about that. Bro, I'm just saying, when you're playing the Patriots, the Patriots don't have an elite defense. You're acting like their defense is their elite. Their defense is pretty good, Drew. It's okay. It's pretty good. It's okay, bro. You hold the Jets to, what, like 10 points, and you start acting like you're a guy? Like, bro, they're okay. <sighs> Jalen Hurst dropped 25 on them. Don't say he drops 25. And, and people bro. thought and 25 people thought, is not crazy, And bro. people thought that's still pretty good. People thought the Eagles had a terrible game that game. And they thought the offense didn't live up to their potential. They didn't because they played the Patriots and their offense was. Bro, oh, y'all are going to see. Y'all, I'm not saying nothing else. Y'all are going to see. I'm not even trying to defend the Cowboys. I don't really mess with their fan base. But bro, y'all are going to see. The Cowboys are going to do dangerous things to the Patriots. Bro. Man, their offense hasn't looked dangerous all season, bro. I'm sorry. Put money on it. I'm not putting money on the okay. Patriots, bro. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not putting money on the Patriots. All right. We're gonna get to the next game, man. The Sunday night primetime game. But I'm saying. And New York. <laughs> We got the Chiefs taking on the Jets, man. Who you got, bro? I don't even need to say it, bro. Just keep going. <laughs> I don't even need to say it, bro. If Zach Wilson, like, genuinely, bro, I don't even know if I can watch that game because of Zach Wilson. He bothers me too much when he plays football. I'll be watching the game. I'll you know be you calling will. you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Drew's going to go into hiding after the first quarter. After bro. each touchdown. It's just not going to look a good. A voice memo is being sent after each touchdown, yeah. so I'm probably going to get, like, four so, to five. So you got the Chiefs? Four to five who you got? Why is he even asking who you <laughs> so got? Y'all got the Chiefs. Yes, we got the Chiefs. You know who you should have. Be honest. How are you going to score gonna, points? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. How are you? Score I'm pleading the fifth on this one. But I'm, I'm just going to break down some facts. The Jets defense will step up this game. Patrick Mahomes is not scoring more than 20 points. We're talking about this. Patrick Mahomes is not getting 20 points. So he's not getting through two touchdowns. He's going to get two touchdowns. I mean, three touchdowns. No. Their offense will not score three touchdowns. We're going to stop him in the red zone if so their offense for the four goals. quarters of the game won't score three touchdowns. Yeah. <laughs> bro, why y'all laughing? That's you don't not, even believe I that. I do bro. believe if that. If we had another camera over here and they <laughs> saw your face, bro, they'd be like, this dude, he's not serious. Bro, bro we have an elite defense, and it showed up sort uh, of against You got to stop saying elite Stop. Let me stop. Talk. Talk. It Let hasn't been talk. that good. Elite, elite, all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, Let me cook. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Our defense has not shown up yet. The only time it has somewhat shown up is against Buffalo. This defense has shown up right. plenty of occasions last year. So it hasn't so shown has, up. So how you say it? Right, you're talk. proving our point. Right, right, let me talk. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Right, let me talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk, Jim. Go ahead. Nah, bro. Nah, you don't want to talk. Go ahead. All right, listen, listen, listen. This defense had the New York Jets through 11 games last year with Zach Wilson at quarterback at 7-4. and four. You lost like we, seven straight games. Let me – bro, that's because – bro, listen. A lot of those games were close and Zach got hurt. Bro. And we had, bro, listen, listen. Bro, our defense is elite. Quinn and Williams, that defensive line is pretty good. Who, nobody's running the – we know they're not really going to run the ball like that regardless. But when they do, they're going to get stopped. I think Sauce, DJ Reed, Quincy Williams, Jordan Whitehead, them boys are going to come to play. Because you know why? People have been talking about our team like – bro, stop laughing, bro. <laughs> People have been talking about our team like crazy. When people when listen, bro, I, like I said, oh the two thousand Ravens were put in a similar oh situation. My God, no. Their quarterback was playing terrible. Oh. They substituted him out and they said, you know what? They talked to defense. We need to be great in order for us to win. They're gonna have Garrett the Wilson in the backfield playing quarterback by the third bro, quarter, bro. Talk. It's over, bro. When when a team has a liability and a disease on their team, like somebody like Zach Wilson, another unit will step up to play. I'm not saying we're going to win this game. Y'all act like I'm saying we're gonna win. I'm saying our defense is going to step 
step up and give us a shot at winning this game. Bro. I don't think so. If we run the ball, if Nathaniel Hackett changes up his game plan, we start to run the ball, we start making plays that Zach Wilson actually can, I don't know if they exist, but if there are actually plays that he can do, that he can execute, we can implement to the playbook. Brees Hall's going to have himself a hell of a game. You feel me? I ain't saying this is going to be, a, I ain't saying we're going to win. I'm pleading the fifth on this one. But at the same time, we have a shot. Because the Kansas City defense is not all that, bro. We have seen this in the pe- Oh, I thought I said offense for a second. We have seen this in the past, bro. I think it's going to be a closer game. People are thinking, I don't, if we lose this game, we're going to cover the spread. I don't know what the spread is, but it's probably OD right, right now. Wait, wait. I think we're covering the spread. For okay, sure. so basically what you're saying is if their entire team is completely different than what we've seen, you guys will even have a chance. That's what you're saying. If you change the offense... <laughs> The defense no. comes ready to play, even though their entire defense hates their offense because of what's happening. No. If no. Zach Wilson somehow finds his two plays that he can run in the NFL, <laughs> That's literally what you're saying. like if the entire team is different, then you guys will have a chance. If Zach, if you have to play perfect. Yeah, we don't have to play perfect. You I'm have not, to play not, perfect to I'm, even. Our defense be needs to play okay. Well, or if our defense can live up to their potential, tap into what they were doing last year, we have a good shot of winning this game. Like, what have they been doing all season? Bro, it's three games. You can't base an entire defense or what they they can do off of three games, bro. Well, I'm basing it off of what I've seen this season. Yeah. Okay, you saw us hold the Buffalo get three interceptions on Josh Allen, hold Buffalo Bills to sixteen oh, points. Josh Allen, you saw us throwing the ball. The Dallas he Cowboys, him. the Dallas Cowboys are a little different. We you got to give us a pass on that one. And then, they and, then, and, then got, and then we held, then we held the Patriots to fifteen. The Patriots, you just said their offense was trash. But that's still holding them to low scoring though. Holding the Patriots to fifteen is not. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm just saying in general. So bro. if the, the Patriots, Eagles defense didn't hold them to fifteen, so the Patriots almost scored twenty against Charlotte. the Patriots. The Eagles didn't. The Eagles made them. They was what twenty five to twenty. Yeah, that was like garbage time when the Eagles were already up. Still. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. I didn't know your shit was on. Nah, but at the end of the day, I'm, like I said, I'm not saying we're going to win the game. Don't get it twisted. I ain't going to win the game. What's the spread? <laughs> I need to see the spread, bro. The spread might be fucking eight points. like. So he said, if the Patriots put up 15, you don't think the, the, the Chiefs are going to score one more touchdown? It's minus nine and a half. <laughs> For the Chiefs. They're not covering the spread, bro. They're covering the spread. Well, I mean, they could cover the spread. They might lose by nine points. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't see it happening. I see oh, Jets haters, fans bro. with their hands in their faces after nah, the first y'all quarter. Y'all are haters, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all just don't see I it. don't want to hate, but it's like I can't not be objective. Y'all are haters, bro. How are we hating? It's, I can understand you because you're a Chiefs fan, but bro, you got to understand. I don't our want to do this. I wanted to see y'all with Aaron Rodgers, and I got Zach Wilson. I can't look past it. He's so bad. I can't even watch him play. It's too painful. And I know it's painful for you. Bro. You don't even want to say that. <laughs> you just heard what I just read. Everyone's mad at Robert, Robert Sala now because he's... Sala's, I don't know why the rap. Robert's not the problem. You got to understand. Like, I wouldn't be when you're a, Zach Wilson. When you're I'd be like, coach. we're looking for other options as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That's there would have been a new quarterback in the building you can't after he went down. Coach, though. That's your guy. You can't. He's you not really your guy. Can't. You got to support your team. He will not time. be on the team after the season. Okay, so when let's think of an example. So when J.R. Smith ran the ball back like a dumbass in the finals, did did you expect LeBron or uh, Ty Lue to say something about him? Did he even come back to the team after that season? Was he there anymore? Did he come, that? That's not the point. But in the heat of the moment, did they say something anything negative about him? Did you see LeBron? <laughs> he was losing his mind. But he I'm, was like, the, so was Robert Sala. Yeah, I'm saying in the I'm saying after a game, like at a press conference, did they say anything bad about him? That's what you do with your teammates and with your. Your, your this situation's I'm a little sure LeBron different. Says something. No, he didn't. This situation is different nothing to crazy, me, though, because he he's something. the reason you guys are playing bad. I, I know that. Trust me, I know that. And if it I'm was me, saying, I would have had a new quarterback in the building after. I'm just we saying, did. as a head coach, a leader of a team, you can't just shit on your. Quarterback. I wouldn't say shit on him. That's that's all like, you have right be, now. Be real with him. Yeah, that's just, all you. You can be real with him behind the doors. Don't do it in public. Why would you do that in public? You don't have to. You don't have to shit on him. You just be real. Be like, yeah, our quarterback. He's not living up. He's just not. Doing good. Don't say I have faith in him. You could be like, you know what, Zach has some things to improve on, but yeah, like, like y- he said you that can't before. Can't go up there and keep. Has, you act like he hasn't said that before. Yeah, he but said that before. I want to see them make a move for anybody else. Honestly, I think that's your best bet to at least be. Because if Aaron Rodgers really is going to be able to come back for playoffs, you guys want to at least be thing, able to win games. Zach Wilson. Well, listen, I know Zach Wilson's an anchor. I know he's a disease. I know he's terrible. But I still truly believe. 
we can make the playoffs with, oh, with this no. squad. I, I think we just need this. No. <laughs> no. no Jet fan in the world thinks that right now. I can listen, promise you. Listen, we just need it. Just, <laughs> just, if they made me the offensive coordinator today, we were making the playoffs. We just need to turn to it. We need to run the ball a lot more. He's about to explain why they need to change their entire team around. Exactly. But is that not facts? That's not going to happen. They're doing a bad job right now. The internals, is, it's, the, there's too much tension in the building. We need it's, to it's run the ball a lot more and just give Zach Wilson plays he can actually do. What plays are those? I don't know. Some Turning and handing the ball off? Like, <laughs> what can Zach Wilson like, do? He has a strong arm. Sure. When he's throwing the and ball, he's accurate, nobody on the like, field. About, around every five plays, he's accurate once. Maybe six. And then five plays later, he's throwing it to the other team. Just, <laughs> you don't go he's to that he's just looking at the defender like, I'm about to give you the ball right now. <laughs> yo, you, yo. <laughs> yo, you look like you want to pick right now. Every game, like, I just watch him wind up with so much confidence and throw the ball to their team, bro. It's egregious. Like, if Zach Wilson has one touchdown and one pick, it's like, ooh. Zach Wilson showed promise today. I gave the man a courtesy. Like, I don't understand, bro. He'll have 160 yards, a touchdown, and a pick, and you're like, ooh. <laughs> Zach Wilson actually he didn't look that bad like no like he's trash yes, you if are that's fan, good for though. Zach Wilson he is the lowest standard quarterback that, that ever existed we've got into bro we, it's, we don't deserve this man no one deserves we, Zach we Wilson. were expecting to have Aaron Rodgers bro. honestly if I thought we were gonna have Aaron Rodgers and we ended up with Zach Wilson I would burn my jerseys if I'm a DB and I'm playing Zach Wilson in the next game I'm excited yeah I'm I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting I'm, my stats up. Yeah, I'm like, yo, this is my game. Yeah, I'm pass breakups, picks, everything. At the end of the day, though, the Jets have a chance against the Chiefs. Uh, it's wishful thinking, but it's possible. Mahomes might have to look. We're gonna see, bro. I don't want to talk about that. Now. What's Mah- what Mahomes might have? What's going on? <laughs> just, Mahomes no, might. Now he's just being delusional, bro. Mahomes might put a drop a <laughs> nuke on them boys. <laughs> Where are they playing at? Don't if they're, they're playing, playing in, in New York. Oh, okay. You should be Mahomes thinking. Have a bad God, they're not playing an Arrowhead. <laughs> it would have been nasty out there. They would have ran y'all out the building. Sure, y'all would have had to keep the bus. Doesn't matter on the location. Y'all, <laughs> the bus is warm. It's crazy. I, for the for the next like y'all let that for this season, you guys should keep the bus warm. Though. Let me be honest. <laughs> y'all should leave Zach in New York every time you travel. He should only play home <laughs> games. They shouldn't even be dressing Zach for away games. Don't even let him travel with the team at this point, bro. It's over, bro. I'm sorry to shit on Zach Wilson, but come on, Zach. I'm not sorry to shit on Zach. I'm actually not. It's his, th- what is this, his third year? It's time. He does, he, he, yeah, he needs. Like, why is there no improvement? He, needs the he hasn't even gotten a step better. He honestly looks just as bad as when he first threw the ball in the NFL. It's bad, bro. Alpha one pro day. That's the worst part. I don't understand how you get worse. You guys should actually fire your front off for your front office for even having him on the radar. For for this long. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like it's it's really egregious at this point. He should have been cut after his second year. After last year, there's no way you have him on the team you still. Should have kept Mike White. Keep Mike White, bro. That's that's what I was saying. You saw Mike White. Mike White was cooking right now. He probably beat the Patriots. Sure. Keep Joe Flacco. All right, we got one more game, man. Got the Seahawks taking on the Giants, bro. Who y'all got? Do the Giants, uh, Saquon come back? Uh, I got Seahawks. Well, wait, is Saquon coming back? I think, yeah. I think he's upgraded to questionable, right? Yeah. I still got Seahawks. I just think Seahawks, they're the better. They've been playing well. Yeah, I just think they're the better team. DJ. Yeah. I'm taking the Seahawks as well, but yeah. you got Giants. Right, man. I mean, I can see that actually being a good game, to be honest. I, I can too. Monday Night Football. Yeah, but I just don't. I don't. I don't believe in the Giants. They're, they're, they don't look the same as they did last year. Like, they just look like a different team to me. And I'm just not convinced, man. Who, the Giants? Yeah, they don't look They don't look as – I don't know. They looked more hungry last year. Like, they had something to prove. And this year, yeah, it feels like they're just – they expected to be this, in the same position last year. And then their season just started out like a shitter. And then they can, I don't know. I don't see them recovering, man. That, that first game really did it for them. Yeah, they fought for their lives against the Cardinals. I'm really just thinking about the Jets right now. <laughs> yeah, man. If I were you, I'd be sending some really crazy DMs to Zach Wilson. Well, I already have. Yeah, no. I, but this, I, <laughs> I would have been flooding I, 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 his DMs. Last year, last year for sure. Yeah, he would have had to block me, bro. Like, I know on my IG story post for a little bit, I was oh, like, this man's a disease. Bro. He, he like, probably turned off his phone. Because I know he getting hell out. Oh, he yeah. Tur- he turned off. You can, he doesn't even get message replies, bro. He yeah. probably don't even have Instagram. He probably has another phone. He probably that only, like, three people have. Because everybody else is probably going crazy on his dome right now. Nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even click on social media. Nah, he can't. Yeah, 
He can't open that's, YouTube. He, he can't, can't open post. IG. He can't open Twitter. Like yeah. he has to be isolated. Enough They're gonna be treating right him like an Instagram. But there is literally no way he didn't. He doesn't know what Joe name is. Oh no, he de- someone definitely, he definitely told him. Does. His mom probably told him that shit. His dad's probably been on the phone with him every day. Like you see what Joe <laughs> name said. Joe, you saw what he said. Joe name just bit at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. Oh, what he say? Oh, he, what Joe name say? <laughs> He said, <laughs> he said, there's no good? way you should be on the team Did he say something good? No. <laughs> he definitely thought Joe Namath was going to come out there and be like, hey, come on, Zach. Like, okay. that, let's, let's be the, get back about, to the old ways. Like, oh, he, oh, he, oh, okay. Yeah, he he said something positive. No. Yeah. Yeah. So the Wilson family should be very disappointed right now. If I were them, I'd probably move out of the country by the truth. I would probably go out of the country by Christmas. The country is crazy. Yeah, well. they're going to get a brick for the window at some Zach, point. Zach bro. needs to go to Shanghai. I ain't going to lie. Zach oh, yeah. needs to take a gold. Wong Dong is calling. He, to, he might be in arena football in two years. He needs to just stop might. playing football. Yeah. yeah. He needs to reevaluate. He, might, he looks like a good teacher for real. He could be. I don't know. He better not uh, teach football. He'll be though. at your, <laughs> he'll be at your like, local Foot Locker soon. <laughs> <laughs> he could go to At a mall near you, man. He'll be still at Air Bactus. Yeah, bro, it's over. Hey, man, I, I, guess I don't like kicking a man while he's down, but uh, Zach Wilson, you have scarred me, bro. Uh, Zach Wilson, I mean, he's getting jumped right now in the media. It, but it, 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 he is really getting He's jumped, getting bro. jumped. He's Everybody. getting stomped out in the media right now. <laughs> Everywhere I see, it's just, oh, Zach Wilson is the worst QB I've ever watched play football. Like People are literally saying, like, it's an embarrassment to football to have Zach Wilson on the field. <laughs> embarrassment to football? Like, they're, they're shaming the Jets as a franchise for putting Zach Wilson on the field. That's how bad it is. I said I'll take Christian over Zach Wilson. Yeah, it's like a, bro, put, put Christian in the Crocs out yeah, on the field. Honestly, bro, <laughs> Zach Wilson, get Brees Hall in the backfield. I'm a complete Let Brees Hall cook in the wild. The game. Prince of Cleveland's going to get it done. When <laughs> he's going to get it done. I'm going to just run the ball. <laughs> I'm like, yo, just get I'm like, Christian, just give it to G-Dub. You're going to be all right, bro. Screen, I'm not screen, getting man. that ball to G-Dub. It's just screen. Straight screen. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, man. Who's going to throw it to? Huh? Who, who else you going to throw it to? You know how many times I'm probably going to muff that, that, that hike or that fucking... Hey, you, you'll be doing just what Zach Wilson be doing. Yeah. Right? Probably, their stats will probably look the exact same. <laughs> They'll look exactly the same. Like, oh shit, Christian had three picks? All right, man. We, we used to that, boy. <laughs> bro, Zach Wilson will have a brick through his window in the next month. It's it's wraps, bro. Hey. <laughs> it's just it's, it's getting really bad, bro. Someone's going to find out where he oh, lives. He's going to crazy. Yeah. It, like, the fans... Like, you know... He right, can't the fan, walk the fans, around New York. The fans turned on him last year, and we're, we're almost at that point by week three. Yeah, he's going to be banished Somebody from New York. Somebody lost their teeth over him. Do you mm-hmm. see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. old dude's dentures popped out yelling about Zach Wilson, bro. Yeah, bro. The, he's banished from New York. I'm telling you, that's why I really think... Like, I'm going to give him a little bit of... I think he has one more. I know I said that last week. I think he really... If he plays bad this week against Kansas City... Is going like because Dallas Dallas has an elite defense, so you can be like, yeah. okay, whatever, right? But Patriots one week, they ain't got the Chiefs. If he plays bad, is it's over? I think I truly think Trevor Simeon will be playing by week five. If, I think if he plays Trevor bad. Simeon should be playing next game. He might get benched in the middle of next I, game. Honestly, I think if it gets out of hand, they might bench him. To be honest, it's not gonna get out of hand though. Jeff, Chiefs is four more twenty. I'm sticking by that position. Oh they might goodness. be up seventeen at halftime, and they come out I with Trevor Simeon. Now. I think they come out of the half with Trevor Simeon in, in the game. That they don't score, that they score more than 20. I would put money on that. I don't think the Jets score make 10 it points. Make it 24. 20. To put money on it, I'll need to make it 24. Over 21. 24. So they have to. You know. I think it's 20-3 at halftime. They have to be more than 24 points, and I'll, we can put money on that. Oh, they're going to score more than 24. They'll touch 30 for sure. It's going to be 20-3 20, 20 to 3 at halftime. And they're going to put Trevor Simeon after the half. How much are you putting up, bro? Hey, you're going to see Trevor Simeon coming out with the American flag at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> he going to be leading the charge. <laughs> Shout out to Aaron Rodgers, man. He going to take up the mantle for Aaron Rodgers. You know what? I would come back to you on that offer, man. Y'all need to trade but... for Mike White. ASAP. New York hey, would A-O, love Mike, that. You know, we just left you, man, but uh, we, we need you back. Like, Dolphins right wouldn't let him go, I could take Chad Henney off of like, Man, I'll take Josh Dobbs right now. Hey, you know. <laughs> Josh Dobbs <laughs> on the highest pedestal right now. I could use Josh Dobbs right about now, man. We were just dogging that man, too, like, I think during, like, week two or something. Yeah. I could use a Josh Dobbs right about Y'all now. Y'all might as well just put in a hurt Aaron Rodgers, bro. <laughs> well, Aaron Rodgers on one leg <laughs> one might be better. Leg, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, might as well, bro. Uh, Appreciate y'all for watching, Mike. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Smash that, man.